Yeah. What is going on? What's going on? I am your boy Slick Fifty for all my newcomers, man. Everybody else, I know who the hell I am. Yo, this is an odd day. It's well, not odd, man. We used to go live on Thursdays back in the day, man. But it's an odd day today. I figured we go ahead and get it in. Man, a lot's going on. A lot is going on from Terrence Crawford, or should I say, Turkey Alice Sheep. His Excellency is is baiting Terrence. You got Javante and Shakur going at it on Twitter. Know how that go. Damn Twitter fingers. Then you got Haney versus Garcia. We definitely finna get into that. And I got my boy right now. He don't really need no introduction. You know, he's large in charge. You know what I'm saying? On his way to the top. Always bubbling. Never sinking. My boy, Heavy Bag. What it do? What? What up, fam? Nothing, nothing, nothing. You know what to do, man. Hey, the business in, in the building with you. Hey, this damn boxing news, boy, made me go up but today. I got, I got to just start off with this, man. I was in a slump about the fight for a little minute. For yeah. a little minute, like, man, I don't know. They got a bet out there for if this man even gonna show up. You know what I'm saying? So I was yeah, like, I don't know. know. Minus one fifty. Yeah, bro. I was like, bro. <laughs> I'm talking to my boy. I'm like, hey, man, I'm going to go ahead and put some money on that. Because <laughs> I'm starting to think he ain't neither. But today, I was like, you know what? This might end up being a fight for real, bro. Like, this might end up being a fight for real. Listen, if you ain't extremely interested in what this crazy nigga going to do, <laughs> you crazy, bro. Shout out my nigga Keywan and a bitch. Bro. Hold on, let me set up my make sure my live all the way set up. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta dive into that a little bit for sure. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I can. But, then you like I say it's a bunch of boxing news, bro. The most disappointing to me is Terrence, but we're gonna talk about that though. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna we talk can. about that. Hold up, you said most disappointing? Yeah, I'm disappointed. Oh. It's not what I wanted as a fan. Let's say it like that. Great for him. Bad for me. Bad yeah, for you. Because I, I, I definitely want to jump into that with you real quick. Because you didn't got me extremely interested because you say it's it's great for him, but it's bad for you. Yeah, man. I will talk about that now, G GMT. I, on, we, we can we go ahead and do that, man. So everybody in the, the saw the tweet, you know. I mean, it was on X first. That's where if y'all want to know what Turk Turk L she put all the news out on, on X first. All right. And um, when I saw it, I was like, "Oh, been telling niggas, the invitation is there finally, right?" Yeah. So I'm like, "All right, cool." But then the opponent, I'm like, "What? No, no!" Because we, we the ship has landed where we wanted to land. Boots is over there, and I'm like, "Make him not make him fight Boots, but I'd rather see him fight Boots than the guy that's ten and zero." What is he, 10 and 1, 10 and 0, and 1, or something like that? Madrimoff. Yeah, uh, I've seen him fight. He hit hard. He's, he's undefeated. He's 10 and 0. Yeah. Uh, and he's the WBA champ. And I and I urge everybody, if you didn't see that scrap for the vacant WBA, check it out. The, the, the dude yeah. But he's they, only, like you say, he's only 10 and 0. Right, and they they call him um what do they call him Baby Triple G? They, he got a little nickname out there because yeah, he hard like Triple G, even look like him a little bit like a young Triple G, you know, all of that. I get that, but is that the point now? This is gonna tell me, is it all for the money? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you don't care what people got to say, or if you do and you wanna and you wanna prove what you. You know, you're going to stick on that roadmap you were saying, want to be three-time undisputed X, Y, Z. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I got it. Because, be now for sure. Because, you know, you know, you know, like Turk, we know he ain't going to throw no chump change, bro. That, that Everybody questioning that is he going to give him what? Yeah, he's going to give him what he want. Fact. Oh, he's he going to give him what he wants. This is his first American card. Yeah, he's going to give him what he want. He wanted to be big. But for the fight him, I'm, when I say him, like, I'm not saying dude garbage. I'm not saying any of that, bro. All I'm saying is, 
if I feel like it's going to be the same thing. He's going to get the same uh, uh, reception as he got when he went to uh, Black Prime and fought Avenesi. Because don't nobody know who this dude is, bro. Nobody. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be like, see, he's doing the same thing. And then we're going to be like, well, he got a giant payday out of it. But that shit don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? Because now uh, Crawford fans is at the point where it's, it's like we neck to neck with the Boots fan. Like, yeah, man, if he ain't finna fight Canelo, who else is there to fight, man? Go fight Boots. You holding on them belts. Yeah. I, I, and I get that perspective for sure. God knows I get that perspective. But I'm also looking at it as if I'm Bud Crawford. I'm 36 years old. I'll be 37 in September. Mm. Retiring is most definitely on my radar. And if Al Sheik is going to give me a butt, a boatload of money to fight somebody like Majumov, and not only is it for a WBA title, it potentially could be for the WBO title. Right. I'm going to say, man, how, how the hell? How the hell? Now, have you watched... My channel, I've explained this, explained this uh, to you already. Mm-hmm. As of course, the next opponent for Fundora, according to the WBO, whom unlike majority of these sanction sanctioning bodies, like the stand on business. If you think Fundora is going to keep the WBO all the way into the end of this year, the the, the end of the fourth quarter, or maybe even the beginning of the first quarter of next year, you're mistaken. So, Bud Crawford could potentially be fighting Madrimoth for a ton of money, also in a unification bout for the WBA and the vacant WBO. And if I'm Bud Crawford, again, long in the tooth, eyeball in retirement, that's the perfect scenario for me. Now, is it going to be fan-pleasing or crowd-pleasing? Is a lot of people going to be okay with this decision? Hell no. But it will most definitely be the best decision for Bud Crawford. Hold on, hold on. Correct me if I'm wrong. If that scenario plays out, and this is the vacant WBO, right? Yes. That means it could be Charlo. Yeah. Charlo will override that because they got him in champion his recess. He get first dibs over anything. Yeah. Yeah. That very well could be. But then it would just take the WBO off the table unless he would just straight fight Majimov. But no, Charlo hasn't even been heard from, bro. No, I if know. I'm just saying. And try and make a fight. Uh, these guys are going to be prepared to fight. They're hey, going to be going to roll Eddie, into training camp here soon. Eddie Kane tried to come back. He can do it. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. drops the ball, goddamn. He'll try. He'll try. I don't know, man. It just... Like I said, I'm speaking from a fan. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Not corresponding. I'm speaking from a fan point of view. And I'm just like, damn, here we go. He going to get a shit ton of money and he going to get hell for it. You know, but I do agree with what you're saying, though. I mean, yeah. the man said he had three fights left. He's been in, he's showing all his houses. He's doing all that. Like, I'm letting y'all know I'm about to sit my ass down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He, he ain't no spring chicken, bro. Uh, and people, and shout out to everybody who wants to see him fight boots because. I want to see him fight Boots, too. And I'm yes. so glad Boots made this whole matchroom Eddie Hearn decision. Uh, if they willing to put up the money for Bud Crawford, I think he ought to most definitely take that fight. But if you're going to get the Majumar fight first and you get to finally fight at 54 uh-huh. and you get in titles, that's going to be another weight division that you conquer or you at least become a champion at. You got to go there like that's Yeah, yeah, no doubt. No, no doubt. Break. No you doubt. I, mean? I just feel like fighting Boots being three-time undisputed is greater. Like, that's a one-off. Yeah. And, you still can, and you still can go do the other shit. Absolutely. Absolutely. You this, know what I mean? These last but, few fights for Bud, Boots is most definitely going to be one of them. I promise you. But I feel like this is the... And I got to get Haney, like, Haney, the Haney's for sticking with their guns on this. Um, I feel like this is just a dawn of a new era. We seen the 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 fictitious side of boxing and not to stick PBC out there, but everybody on PBC, you know, if you're a boxer, you got your own quote unquote promotional company, right? Yeah. And well the Haney's improved that what they doing is real because everybody they ever signed with 
they partner with versus signing with. You get what I'm saying? They get three fight deal, move on, three fight deal, move on, two fight deal, move on, whatever the case may be, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and now you got Boots doing the same thing. See, that's the, the part they not saying. That's real. That's real. He's not yeah. stuck. Yeah, this is a multi-fight co-promotional deal. Here. There you go. Exactly. And I feel like that's it's a dynamic. Matias too. That's the same deal Matias just said. Right, right. Matias. And then, so, you know, I think Matchroom is setting a whole new president. You know what I'm saying? Instead of holding these cats hostage, let them have new, a, a little bit of freedom. They can make some money. And that, they'll stay. Like, for instance, and then I think, like, maybe that's in the works. I'm hoping that's in the works. You get them over with Turkey Island Sheet, Eddie in his ear, like, look, bring TBC promotions over this way. We'd love to showcase your fire, your fighters or whatever the case may be. And maybe we will end up getting a boost fight. You know what I'm saying? Because Eddie don't want that fight first. He done made it clear. He want to go and pair him with, you know, other other people first. But I get it. Make some money. Make some money quick. Real easy money real quick. Then the big fight. You know, so in the midst of that, I'm hoping Eddie be like, Bud, come here real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let me holler at you. You know, you want that, that TBC to become real? You say you want to see it at the table, right? You say you want to look at, be able to look at the numbers, right? Yeah. You say yeah. you want to say, come on over this way. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm hoping happens. You know, and and, and I'm be honest with you. Impossibility. I, I feel like I feel like with Shakur being his last fight, if something like that takes place, I can see Shakur going that way too. Cause he got his own stuff too. Uh, well, he got his own fighter. We 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 both know a common little birdie. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who's who's uh who's basically saying yeah? It looks like Shakur is gonna be on that little you know what I mean on that trail yeah. as well. Uh, yeah. Real quick, shout out my guy Kiwan Yada Letitia in the chat. DJJ, what up? What up? What up, y'all? Just want to say what's up to my people. Shout out to everybody up in this joint, man. Yeah, I see man. Ryan Sizzle, man. We just getting all the topics out before we start shouting everybody out, my dude. You know what I'm saying? D2. Too. Uh, GMT, I hate to cut you off, Slick 50. What's up? Congratulations on a thousand subscribers, my brother, man. I'm, I'm You lying, bro. I ain't even look. <laughs> oh, breaking news. This get- is breaking news. Hold on. Let me go to switch account. Man has reached oh, <laughs> that motherfucker. It's on a, it's on a, over here, it's a 1,000 on the dot. <laughs> Yo, y'all know what that means. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, man. I gotta get. I gotta get the pictures together, the details on that raffle on the shirt, man. We definitely gonna do that. I'm gonna have that ready for Saturday for sure. For sure, I'm gonna have to get all the details ready for y'all Saturday. Yeah, 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 definitely. Because he's got a shirt, man. He's got a shirt sign. Shout out Rob too, man, for helping put that together. Yeah. Um, that's got everybody's signature up there. You can yeah, give him a sneak peek, man. Yeah, bro, I'm put me on the big screen. They can still hear you. All your, your favorite fighters on it. Yeah, and man, we're going to do a raffle for this one. And it's got everybody up there. Yes, sir. That's Terrence Crawford you just saw. Yeah. Sean Porter, F.A. John, we're down at the bottom. And with so many signatures on it, it's crazy. We got Jamil Heron right here on the side. Right there. Well, we got Earl Spence, Duke Reagan, Jay Prince. Duke Reagan, oh my God! Jay Duke Prince, Prince, yeah. Duke Reagan, Shakur Stevenson, right here along the side. No, no, Duke didn't put Nico. The, that nigga wrote in print. <laughs> yeah, he, he. It was his first thing. He had never did a signature before. It was uh the interview on my channel. I got of him. He yeah. did it then. He was like, I never done the signature before. He put his shit in there. Yeah, he wrote it like he didn't know what to do. He was like, for real? And he was happy to do it. He's like, for real? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Duke Reagan. <laughs> yeah, man. Nico Ali Walsh right here. Earl Spence. Yeah, they go, they go Spence for the Spence lovers. Devin Haney. And some more. So, yeah, this shirt definitely will be up for raffle, bro. This was a one-of-a-kind piece. A one-of-a-kind yeah. piece. I have been saying it for a long time, man. If it don't, if it don't happen, I'm putting this in a glass frame. It was gonna be on the wall, but hey. a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into getting all of these signatures, man. It was, but the original purpose was getting these signatures, so you know to give back to the people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's up, man. Super so dope. Man. Make sure y'all subscribe, yeah. and uh, you still gotta be subscribed yeah. to uh, GMT Sports, man. You gotta subscribe if you win. 
I'm gonna refund your money, and you still. I mean, it's that serious. You got to be subscribed, or you just can't come over taking stuff from my people. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, no doubt, man. Damn, I'm at a thousand subscribers, bro. Hell no, a long time coming. When I was setting up, man, I was like, oh shit, I thought maybe you knew already, but no, uh-huh. but big. Uh-uh. Just proud of you, brother. Uh, That's what it do. Who rock with me, man? Definitely support my man Slick, man. Super cool dude. And uh, looking forward to just doing a lot of, you know, collabs with him, man. Continuously giving y'all that kind of content as well uh, at the judges' table and, of course, the sit down. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Now, we was touching on the boot situation for a second. And um, I definitely wanted to get those boots and, I mean, those boots comments. Letitia said, shout out Letitia, one of the very few females that rock out. She said, I want to see Crawford versus Tim before I want to see. Crawford versus Boots. I love the Crawford Tim fight, right? I really, really do. But I think because Boots has been just hanging around for so long, waiting on his opportunity at 47, where Bud still holds three belts where he's still. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at the Boots fights for, fight first. But if this Madrimal fight come through, let me ask you this slip. If this Madrimal Ma- fight comes through, I think it'll make all the sense in the world if Bud did decide to drop those. Yeah, he should, all, it should be automatic. Yeah, yeah. It should so. be automatic. The only way he doesn't, I'm taking this fight for money, but he better be well prepared to say, I'm fighting Boots next. Right, right. He yeah. better be, I'm talking about, it better slip through the cracks before the fight even starts. Somebody to leak the info. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Right. Cause at that point you just you just being um greedy, disrespectful, and greedy at the same time, bro. Like let these dudes fight for these belts, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. Cause uh shit. There's no way I can see you holding a WBA and a WBO if it happens that way at fifty four and holding on to you know being unified at forty seven and still not fighting boots. Right. But I also feel like if you do do the Majamar fight and you victorious there, you make a lot of money with the Sheik. I think you owe it to your fans to come back and see Boots. But again, not mad at the the the, the uh, Zoo fight, but I think the Zoo fight makes more sense if it's for a belt. Is that you know what I'm saying? I would mm-hmm. love to see it away, but I think for Crawford, he was only he only had. Zoo in on in the scope because he had the belt. Yeah, yeah. And again, he's he's got very limited fights left, and he wants to make history with what little fights he has left. Right. If he had fight a young lion, I wanted to be boots. That's yeah. the that's the technical fight that everybody wants to see. That's the one everybody comparing him against. So we want to see does does is can boots carry that torch? Right. Do it make sense? It makes a lot of sense to hold on to those. Now, when you think about it, though, it makes a lot of sense to hold on to those belts if he indeed is going to go back and fight boots. Yeah, yeah. You know but, but you got to say it. You can't keep dragging that shit out, man. Yeah. You know, you can't keep dragging that shit out, man. You want some support right now for you for this uh, Madrimal fight? God damn it, say boots name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Believe it or not, say boots name. I think he'll answer that question for us. This is why I say I think. But if he doesn't come right out and say it, I think he'll answer that question for us. If he, in fact, gets the Madrimal fight next, which it looks like that that could possibly be next for Boots. I mean, for Bud. Right. If he gets that fight and he inks it and they announce it, and yet he still holds on to 47 scraps, then that tells us he'll fight Boots next. Thanks. You still got to say his name. You've been holding on these belts so long and he said nothing. I don't... Yeah. I want to hear something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to hear something. I'm tired of asking yeah. the question as a fan. Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to 154? I need to know where you're going to be at. You know what I'm saying? He's fighting at 54 next. Damn. And like and like I said, I think he was holding on to him, seeing where the money was going to be at. But now I'm hearing this news. Shit, you finna get a check, bro. You finna get a check, no doubt. Yeah. And by you going over there, he with Eddie. If the Sheik say, all right, you get paid. You didn't got past Madrimal. Bring boots on. God damn it! You know what I'm saying? It's, it's starting. To, it's starting to feel like it's, it. It should be a lot more easier now that everything's all on that one side. Yeah, but you're not going. 
you're definitely not going to take a Eddie Hearn fight over a, a, a Turkey Al Sheik fight. No, but see, that's what I'm saying. That's who putting up. That's who putting up the money. Right. He, 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 he got them in their pocket. You see the five versus five, right? Yeah, hell yeah. P- poor yeah. Danny Ball. What's his name? Nick Ball. Yeah, Just Nick. had a fight. He got a fight again. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he who did he fight? Nick Ball for uh, Ray Vargas, didn't he? Yeah, Ray Vargas. Yeah, yeah. yeah so man. I mean, yeah, they they kind of I feel like they kind of work for him. She calling the shots, man. Really? They, they somebody said out Turkey out sheep to face a box, <laughs> bro. A dude know the uh, he got them he got them bands, bro. I ain't mad. He got he got he got them <laughs> bands to make the promoters dance. He got the bands to make the promoters yeah. dance, bro. He know what he doing. For sure. Uh, he know what he doing. You wanted to answer. You wanted to check those highlight some of these questions. What we got up in here? You want to do it? However you want to do it. He said, I'm not a no, fan of this. I'm trying to see where he is. I believe Haney wins by knockout. Been a oh, while since he had a knockout. Yours. You can't see mine. I see everything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't, yeah. Yeah, he said, I'm not a fan of soap opera. <laughs> that is Ryan. These men are supposed to be some of the baddest on planet. I think Ryan gets schooled by Devin. I want to watch fighters, not social media. Man, let me tell you something. I, I got to say something to that because I just had a conversation like this earlier. This is what you're seeing right now. I w- I'm not mad at it. I will say this. It just was overdid. All right. You can go back through history, bro. Not just shit talking. I mean, Mayweather was the most mildest at it. He talked shit. Motherfuckers pulled guns, bro. Guns, you go on YouTube right now. Ali going to the table talking shit. Sonny, Sonny pulled out a whole fucking strap in the middle of a casino and shot a rubber bullet. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You, you got motherfuckers shooting up at uh uh um. What's my boy? Um, what's the um Ali? Who they said be Ali? Goddamn, just went blank. He shot up at his window, at the hotel. It's Sonny been. It's, Sonny List. No, not Sonny Listen. Um, um fake gun. Yeah, but I'm saying though, I'm saying that type of shit, like it's yeah. out, it's it's just out the room where I'm, cause when you see that, you know, if you don't know, you don't know, you're like, what the fuck they on? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is this shit? You these dudes going to guns now, and then you got people like um Hands of Stone, Sugar Ray Leonard. He telling yeah. him, fuck your wife, walk up to him in, in, in the in the diner while he eating with his old lady and shit and all. Yeah. Yeah. It's been some it's it's been some wild some shit, wild, bro. Some wild promotions. Yeah, <laughs> it's just that now you got the internet. You know what I'm saying? I keep telling people, man, I'm not mad at it. Yo, listen, Ryan tapped into a lot of different groups. <sighs> um, uh, 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 religious groups, uh celebrities. Man, he tapped into a lot. No, nah, bro. That dude said, I'm a member of the LGBTQ uh, community. I'm a woman now, so if you touch you, I'll call the police. I did it too driven, bro. He tapped into that group. Bro, dude, are you bullshitting? Don't be surprised if this is a, a pay-per-view success at the end of the day, and it'll all be because of Ryan Garcia. I can't see what Devin Haney has done so different from, you know, his poor performance at the box office or on pay-per-views. Uh, he's, start, he's starting to, he's starting to, um, the way Ryan act is making him come out of his shell. Haney's coming out of his shell. The way he was speaking today, the way he's talking, yeah, man, he need to do that. I also think it was hunger pains too, because I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Hey, man, Eddie on to something. Man, that dude, Haney, dude, that dude don't look no different than the last camp, bro. Like he looked yeah. like he hurting, bro. It, he looked like he hurting to make weight. Haney? Yes. Yeah, he's big. I've been, I've been, he's big. Bro. I, right. That's what I'm saying. I've been, I, but big. damn. And I'm like, and, yeah. and and Ryan looked more comfortable than him. Ryan looked all right. He looked like he looked like that damn Oscar trophy again. Yeah, yeah. I think uh I think both of them gonna make weight comfortably. Oh uh, hell yeah, listen, bro. Hell he, yeah. He, we can talk about how big he is all day. He's never missed weight. He's always made weight. Nah. I ain't saying that. I'm just saying shit. 
he he's definitely big. I'm, I understand what you're saying. He's definitely big. And if I was worried about anybody missing weight, it would probably be Devin Haney. I think people getting caught up with the antics of, of uh, Ryan Garcia, maybe thinking, hey, he's not preparing himself for this fight. But I think, you know, secretly he is. I think secretly Derek James is doing his job for sure. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. You see him just sitting to the side until he start talking about that 500 thou He was like, hold on. <laughs> Derek and his daddy were like, yo. Yo, chill out. Chill out, bro. Per <laughs> 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 pound? No, bro. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, that shit was hilarious, dog. Hey, that's that my, shit was hilarious. My money, bro. <laughs> right. That's Mark dealing with one fighter. Uh, I, don't, mm-hmm. I, I think both of them make the weight comfortably, though. Yeah, I think, I think and I'm be honest with you, man. All the shit talking and all of that, man, makes good for the fight, man. But I'm going to tell you, Devin not going to the middle of the ring. Devin yep. go to that middle of the ring, man. That's all his fucking element. I don't care who it. Great question. So you don't believe Devin's going to the middle of the ring? Hell, he going to etch his way to the middle of the ring. He ain't running to that motherfucker. <laughs> he ain't finna just running, bang. He'll be a fool for that, man. He'll be a fool for that. See, he kind of put it out there now, so it's like, this is what you said you was going to do. You can't say some shit like this and don't actually get in the ring. I've seen fighters do it. They talk that shit down. Man, that man run that middle ring. He finna just scrap Ryan. Ryan, Ryan know that. Like, babe, do that shit. That's a setup. Are you looking for a counter? You going to give him what he want? Look, it's the same thing. He kept saying... He kept saying, uh, uh, what he said about Lomachenko? You was a dirty fighter. We see what you be doing. He called out your main thing you do. He doing it to Ryan. All you guys are left hand. You guys are left hand, right? Yeah. But the thing is, dog, the left hand is, is like it's, it's the jab. And he turns it to a hook. So when people think, oh, he just got a left hand. That's not easy, bro. That's yeah. not easy. So he got, he got power. You know what I'm saying? If you can turn your jab, your left hook. And it's not you're not switching at all. You get what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna stand by my statement. If anybody get knocked out in this fight, it's gonna be Devin Haney, bro. You know, it, it gotta be. You know what? You know what? Either one can get can get knocked out. That's for sure. That's for sure. Because I think I think at times in this fight we're gonna see both of them get careless. We're gonna see both of them get careless, bro. If that's the case, man. We'd have been seeing seeing Devin hurt and knock niggas out. We'd have been seeing Devin hurt and knock him out, knock somebody out. The way he did, I mean, even even in the war, I, I can't even call it a war because I felt like he beat Jojo Diaz and Lenares convincingly. Uh, mm-hmm. If he was supposed to knock mm-hmm. anybody out, it would have been little tiny old Cambosis. And he couldn't mm-hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. You know, look at the size advantage he had over little old Lomachenko. Yeah, that's true. He, he could not even hurt Lomachenko. So you tell what- me. Somebody way younger than these cats with more leg and just as big as Dell, uh, with just as long a reach, he's gonna knock him out and didn't knock these other little niggas out. It's not no, him. I'm not I'm no, I ain't I know. I ain't saying no, that. I'm, I'm just saying like no. I'm just saying based on carelessness, if Ryan going there trying to prove fucking point, he could walk his ass right into something. See, he ain't gotta have no power to knock you down. I mean, you can just get hit good and go down. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a button, you know. But at the end of the day, um, to speak to that, that's when I was talking about um Shot to Chappelle. He was on there when I was talking about it. I was talking about that Haney when when um Haney with the Cambosis and how wide his shots was and the wide he was throwing overhands from way back here. And I was like, maybe it's time for a switch with somebody else to teach him how to turn his punches over, bro. Cause that's one thing you don't see him do. He live behind the jab, but everything that comes after that is has no conviction on it. It shows me he doesn't have no real faith in throwing nothing. And when you watch, when you watch um, Devin throw punches too, it's never in succession though. It's like he thinks about it and he tries it. You get what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like uppercut, overhand. It's not no no combos. It's not fluid. You get what I mean? Yeah. And that, and I think that's his his greatest problem. And he needs to put that together. Put that together. I, I listen. I thought he was very fluid against. To be honest, I thought he was very fluid against Cambosis, and I thought he hit every button Cambosis had. Dude, like, dude, he was beating it. Now, I yeah, but right, but check this out, and it was hard work. Check this out. Go back and watch it. Just I'm telling you, go back and watch it, and I want you to go check the fight out for real, for real. No fan shit. Cut the sound off. 
Look at Devin. Don't look at Karen Bosis. All them punches, if that was somebody else, Devin would have been asleep, bro. Man, that dude punches was wide. Like, everything was like, I hate to use the term amateurish, but it was, bro. It was His jab was sharp. Wop, wop. Hook coming way out here. Hook Ooh, coming way coming. out here. This yeah. coming way out here. Like, yeah, you can you could throw that in succession because it's all wild. It's all, like, garbage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if that I'm... was somebody else that knew how to punch in between punches or had somebody tell Cambosis, punch when he punched. He been bing, bing, bing. He didn't been getting caught. He was loading up on some shots on Cambo, and he was yeah, hit. Yeah, and they was and what? That, he hit like, Cambo. He had the right person. On that nigga temple, chin, cheek. He hit every button, and he couldn't mm-hmm. knock him out. He couldn't. He, but you, but but peep this. You ain't seen none of that wild shit with uh, Regis. Lomachenko. Lomachenko, no, no. No. He was tight. No, nah, he ain't throwing that. Well, I'm talking about. Turning your punches over. And then you got come from East Jesus with a with an overhand. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if that was somebody else that knew and he was sloppy like that, he'd have been caught. I think because of the skill, the skill set disparity was so far apart with Cambosis, he was doing shit that he knew he could get away with. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you went there with somebody where you just overmatched, you can you just do shit because you know you can't. Yeah, uh, you know, it's he, proof. It's proof he was just doing shit because uh, his dad asked him, yeah. "What are you doing? What is that you doing?" And he I did ask he him that shit. Knock Cambosis out, and yeah. just, and I really think they wanted to knock Regis Progre out, but he didn't want to take those risks because he knew Regis could punch. Right. But you know, even though he got the little flash knockdown, he didn't really, I I believe, hurt 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 Regis. You no, know nah, I mean? Regis wasn't hurt at all. It was a flash, but that was the cleanest and sharpest I seen there, though. But I just can't, I don't see him, maybe I'm tripping, but I just don't see him hurting or knocking Ryan Garcia out. I think if anybody, and I'm going to stick by my guns, if anybody gets knocked out in this fight, I think it'll be Devin Haney. And I keep saying this, and I think people, this is going unheard and flying under the radar. This is uh, uh, the youngest, strongest guy that Devin Haney has, you know, at this level is fighting, bro. Say what you want about Ryan Garcia, but the boy can punch and he's fast as shit. Right. And they keep talking right. about his left hand. He got power on both hands. He can hurt him, bro. He, 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 he can hurt him. He, he can hurt Haney. I th- but you know what I mean? I've watched, but we, one thing though, we, we know Ryan can fall, but one thing we do know about Ryan, Ryan get right back up though. And he get up the same. Yeah. He don't, he don't be shook or nothing. I give Ryan that he don't be shook, none of that shit. So, I mean, like I say, I think it's gonna be a great matchup, regardless of how they playing it, like the amateurs and all this shit, you know, whatnot. I just think that Ryan scared everybody. He went, he went overboard with everything. Yeah. They didn't made him take yeah. a mental mental test and all sorts of shit behind this yeah. stuff, drug tests, all that. So, I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I just think for some reason, I think it's gonna be bigger than than what I think is what people think. What you think the fight's gonna be bigger? Yeah. I think it's gonna be bigger than what people think. As well. Again, I think he tapped into a lot of different groups that's gonna be paying attention and wanna tune in and support him. But I also think the crazy work. I think the I think the numbers are gonna show that the crazy antics work. Uh, when he did decide to get on social media, when he did decide to do anything, I seen the dude live, man. He had like damn near 30,000 watching his live. You know what I mean? that's, that's that's insane. Yeah. You know Bruh. what I mean? So yep. people are paying attention to Ryan Garcia. And I think it's a lot of people, a lot of people who don't even want to admit that they rooting for Ryan Garcia is going to be tuning in. And, and, and rooting and, and trying to see what Ryan Garcia is gonna do, man. I truly believe that. I think I think oh, Devin I, wins, but it's gonna be about the same. Have a great fight. Yeah, but I think Devin wins for sure. And I just yeah. think it's gonna have that. This fight gonna have his moments. They're gonna get as as dad gonna be. What the hell are you doing in that motherfucker? <laughs> I, I know he's gonna gonna have one of those moments. Ryan ain't gonna be listening. To Derek Jackson, what is he doing? Put his hand. What is this? It's gonna be that watch because both of them want to prove something. You know what I'm saying? Let me for some reason. This. How important is Devin James come fight night for Ryan Garcia, bro? 
that's going to be a hell of a job for Devin Derrick James. How important is that piece of this puzzle right now? Well, he ain't had him that long, but I mean, it's going to be a second fight with him. It, yeah, but I'm gonna be honest with you. If if Ryan loses, I don't think it, it bothers Derrick. I don't think it burns him in no type of way. Because I'm gonna be honest with you. Does this fit like like Derrick James? I was watching on interviews. Like shit, nigga, don't no, listen to shit. He can go about his business. So that no. told me like where his mind is. Like you don't want to listen. Then I don't need you. I got I got money. That's the that's the the difference between good trainers and great trainers. Great trainers know how to get you to do what they're asking you to do. Right. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Like mm-hmm. that I said about Roach. He was basically saying, man, Roach could could cut could connect with me in a way to make me want to do what he said. A lot of people say the same thing about Teddy Atlas. Yeah, uh, and Tim. Yeah. You know, these great trainers, um, you know, Emmanuel Stewart, these guys knew how to connect with their fighters and get what they needed to get out of their fighters. Now, for Derek James, if Ryan completely ignores you and not doing what you're saying, I think that says a lot about, you know, you as a damn trainer. You know what I mean? Well, that too, and I guess the reason I ain't tripping off of it like that because, you know, I've also heard Derrick James when they say, when last night to Earl? I ain't talked to Earl in about three, four weeks. You know, I let them call me, you know, and when they ready, they come through. See, to me, like, you know, those trainers you're talking about, they're more personable with their fighters. You get what I'm saying? Whereas yeah. Freddie Roach, he'll go, he'll go to the Philippines. You see what I'm saying? And, and go over there and kick it. And get training in and still stay over there and kick it. He like family with the man. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know, same with Ted Lee Atlas. Uh, Tim has said that, you know, I've been in his house, ate with his family, all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't just training. We done shot darts. Right. We done shot darts, play poker. You know what I'm saying? You get to know your fighter in and out. You know, th- that's those that I think that's what makes a great trainer. Like you show that you give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Versus yeah, that's all, you can call me when you're ready. And listen, they all had starting points where they had to start out with those guys just like Derrick James is doing. And mm-hmm. they had to get those guys to listen to the advice that they was giving them. Because to me, and I asked that question because I just believe for Ryan Garcia, it's going to be critical that he listens and understands what Derrick James is telling him in that corner round by round because Devin Haney's just that good. He's just right. that good. It's going to be a chess match more so between Devin Haney and Derrick James. Listen, right. I'm giving Derek, uh, um, Devin Haney all the credit in the world for the IQ. I think he by far surpassed Ryan Garcia in the IQ department. So yeah. it's a chess match between Devin Haney. Not so much Bill Haney. I know he adds and he sees his things and he tells Devin certain things, but I think Devin is in control a lot there. That relationship has been there so long that it's, yeah, Bill Haney's the trainer, but they're more of a team when it comes to using the IQ. Whereas Derek James really is going to have to think for Ryan Garcia and it's right. more chess right. match between Derek James and those guys. It's I agree. Critical for uh, uh, Ryan Garcia to be receiving these instructions from Derek James, man, in this fight. This this fight, which I don't think is going to happen. But I believe it should come down battle for the jabs. And that's something that you don't see Ryan use as much no more as his jab. He constantly just looking for the counter. He looks for the bait and switch. He'll flick a jab and wants to, you know what I'm saying, Yo. hit you with the counter. But I think he needs to put, you know, go full, full fledged with the jab because it's quicker and beat him in that aspect because you fighting a fighter that prides itself on his jab. And his jab is phenomenal. You see what I'm saying? Sure. That's the reason that Devin has survived this long. So if you can match which which with which, which with which, you can, you know what I'm saying? I think yeah. that'll take Ryan a long way. And then those though what he won't will open up. You know, those counters will come. Uh, uh, long as he don't do like they're expecting him to do, to come rush in and rush in the pace and ru- you know what I mean? Trying yeah. to hurry up and rush. In. If anything, I hope Derek taught him it's all about all about taking your time. Pacing yeah, yourself, yeah, he's controlling the pace. You he's know what I mean? Because I think he, tr- I really truly think he wants to hurt Devin. Shout out my guy Al Money in the chat with the dollar ninety nine super sticker. Hit him with that money drop for me. Uh, 
Flick 50. I truly appreciate you, Al. Money, punch drunk. Yes. E double. That's fine. Where it go? There it is. Yeah. Appreciate you, brother. My man, my man. I don't have, I got my drop, but I don't got the right one. I think it's a little too long. So I'm going to have to double check that. Appreciate so, you, Al. In the building. Punch drunk. The link at the top of the chat, fam. <clears throat> I agree with you 100% there, though, man. Uh, and I do believe, again, man, it's going to come down to, uh, I think that's just going to be so critical in this fight. But I also think the emotional Ryan Garcia, let me ask you that too, man. The, mm. can, can Ryan Garcia's emotions in this fight trigger Devin Haney's? And this could kind of just become like ego versus ego in the center of the ring like Devin Haney is calling for. That shit was there, bro. That wasn't playing, bro. When he pushed Ryan, that was real, bro. When he got to bring his mama, so talking about his mom, that was for real, bro. Right. That was fucking yeah. for real. So he up there a little bit. You get what I'm saying? He he in right. his head. That's a fact. You know, now that was part of the plan. That was part of the yeah. plan. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, he was on he was on his Duran shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me go holler, get in Sugar Ray head. Hopefully get in here, take him out of square. And that, that could be part of it. You know what I'm saying? Let's say bait him in, get him in there, and you can have your way with him. But like I said, man, it, I I want to see the mental. It's going gonna, it's gonna to show the mental fortitude of Devin Haney because he's definitely going to need it in there because you're going to deal with that speed. That's one thing nobody talking about. That boy way faster than Devin, bro. All right? Hey, that's what I ate. I agree. I agree. I think I would have to check the Ryan Garcia box for the hand speed for sure. Shout out Letitia McCulley in the chat. He say, Derek James does not have a good boxing IQ and does not have the knowledge to outthink any good trainer. God damn, Letitia, you ain't gonna she get She just shit it on, on, my, on him, <laughs> didn't it? Damn, bro. I ain't gonna say that. I just think they don't <laughs> listen. I, I can't agree with y'all 100% there, man. God. Yeah, I think that's just hard to listen. Man, some credit, you know. I, I, I doubt Charlo and Earl Spence did it all by themselves, man. You got to right. some kind of credit. You're talking about two unified champions where one undisputed and another three belt uh, unified champ. Come on, baby. You got to give them a little bit of credit. <laughs> man, never <laughs> with you, man. I would have to check that Ryan Garcia hand speed box or uh, over Devin Haney, even though Devin's fast as a bitch too. But Ryan has more of that blinding speed. Yeah. Where yeah. we seen the fight, I want to say it was versus a Fortuna. Mm-hmm. Where he, you didn't even it was like the Ali punch. Right. The phantom even, punch. The phantom punch. And it was a very real thing. So uh he does have blistering speed. And I think, you know, that can work in his favor in this fight as well, for sure. Yeah, so Devin definitely had to be working on his timing. It's the only thing going to kill it. You know what I'm saying? And if it's all about timing with Devin, you're going to catch the, him waiting on the counter. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's like, called, what, you it's, it's like uh, what you said, man. It's like what you said. The patience. The mm-hmm. speed, the patience will create the perfect timing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he, he's definitely got to work on being patient, for sure. Yeah. D2 said Ryan might pull an upset. Yeah, that's a fact. It's possible. It's there. Yeah. I mean, people basing this whole thing off of because they hear him being crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and you know, he did win his last fight. The shoulder roll was uh, ugly. You know what I'm saying? And whatnot. But if he get in here and show some hands, goddamn me, yeah. and half the balls that he had with Tank, it could be a problem for Devin, bro. And see, that's what I think Haney's messing up at. And maybe I'm wrong, but listen to this, this logic and this perspective real quick. Mm-hmm. Because Tank Davis was able to get that knockout over Ryan Garcia, for Devin Haney, it's almost like, damn, I can't have nothing less than a knockout versus a Ryan Garcia, right? Because, you know, again, Tank, who is, I think everybody probably would agree, is is Devin's biggest nemesis. Uh, we would all want to see him fight Tank over anybody, probably. Right. So if Tank was able to get the seventh round KO over Ryan Garcia, at the bare minimum, 
I got to go in here and knock this guy out. And I think that's why his camp is saying we're coming into this fight looking for a knockout. Yeah, they got, but if you want that tank fight, you got to do it. Yeah. You yeah. got to. It's, oh, it's gone. It's over. If you go 12 rounds, it's like you lost. Yeah. That's what it's like you point. lost. You Ryan, gets, Ryan gets to fight another day. Ryan got a fan base out this world already where they don't care he win or lose. Yeah. You, you, you mean, you saw it from the Twitter rants he had. It was supporters of what he was talking about. And all it was crazy. It didn't matter what that boy was talking about. You know, yeah. they was riding with it. You yeah. know what I mean? So he could lose and he going to have a whole nother fight, make another shit, a whole lot more money. You know what I'm saying? Whereas Devin, yeah. Devin got to go in and sleep this cat, man. He got to. That I thought because for me, I'm thinking this is the whole reason why you want to fight him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You fighting Ryan to get to tank. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you gotta it's gotta be in tremendous fashion. I matter of fact, I was just about to do um a video and it was going I was gonna name it uh knock out a bus for Devin Haney. You 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 know, uh people are gonna continuously compare you to Tank Davis, and now you guys are gonna have what? A common opponent. Uh, another mm-hmm. component in a Ryan Garcia. And it's yeah. going to pull down to who looked better versus Ryan Garcia. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I'm glad you brought this up because a lot. was a few couple years ago. All right, because for all the fans that be talking about, oh, he fighting woo woo leftovers, man, that's the game. That's the game, yeah. bro. That's how yeah. you get to that guy. If you, you go back to Mayweather Pacquiao, Pacquiao went on a tyrant sleeping. Everybody Mayweather was fighting way faster. Yeah. After the time he he had stopped knocking people out, he was like, "I ain't knocking nobody out." And prove and the cold part about that proved his point because he was like, "Um, I'm in church now. I'm not. If I could just win and I know I could beat you, I'm not gonna knock you out." And people was like, "Bullshit. He getting old. He just can't knock nobody out." <laughs> and then when he wanted that Mayweather fight, that boy came back knocking everybody yeah. out. Yeah, that's facts. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that Mayweather fought. Huh? Yeah. I say he did hat and dirty. Oh my God, bro. So you know what I mean? Like that's the game, bro. Sometimes you gotta you gotta force it. That's how you force it. You know what I'm saying? That is that measuring stick. Mm-hmm. You better believe if this fight goes all 12 rounds, you're gonna see some maybe some tweeting deletes from from Tank. Day. Oh man, <laughs> man that's been cool. Them, 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 them tweets stay up. Man, the, flaming them. Oh man, he gonna have a boy. That boy, Devin go twelve rounds. So he gonna be have a whole week of tweets going in. He already been tweeting two days straight right now. Him and Shakur going back and forth. You see, you see that? You been seeing it? Yeah, I've been seeing it, man. Um, listen, he, as much as I like Tank, I don't want to hear shit from Tank, bro. I don't man, now, I got, I got, I got to say this one thing that stuck out of the whole entire. Spat, they've been going back and forth. What up, Courtney? Tanks, what up, play on? Tank said he signed for six to seven fights, bro. Yeah, and Shakur is one of them. That fucked me. I'm like, you locked yourself in that long? Six to seven fights? I think it's the best for him. I'm going to be real, man. I don't think, and maybe I'm dead ass wrong for saying this. And I don't want to feel like I'm not giving a fellow brother the credit. But I don't think Tank will ever, like, mentally be prepared to run the show himself and be that boss. Am I fucking well, up for seeing that? No. No, because some people, it's just some shit. Mayweather, I mean, Mayweather said it by itself. What do you say? He said, shit, I may not be the smartest one in school, but I, I was smart enough to hire a team yeah. to know what to do. You see, I don't know what I'm saying. You know, so I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that, but I hate to hear that he's six to seven. He's six. To, I'm, I'm saying I hate that he's six to seven. Go ahead. What you say? I'm sorry. I said Mayweather did get to the point though where he was actually picking his own opponents, and we knew he was the boss. He was making. Yeah. He was saying, but, "Okay, yeah, that's who I'm going to fight next." It hasn't been that with with uh, um, Tank Davis, and I don't think it ever will be. Yeah, I, I'm just saying that I hate that he he because he still got Calvin by his side. You know what I'm saying? And he improved. He ain't let Calvin go because when they tried to switch his trainers up, remember that shit. All oh, that shit was going on. Tank went had that. You know what I mean? So Listen, I just hate that six and seven fights, huh? 
You can look at Te- Calvin and tell he don't know shit about the business of boxing either, though. Tank need niggas around him that know something about the business of boxing. You got, you, you got these events. You got everything. the money. Put the team together. Put a team together, bro. Because six, seven <laughs> fights, you lock in. Now, I mean, this is, I mean, we this talk this this discussion don't mean nothing. But I mean, I wish he wasn't locked in for six or seven fights because the money that's about to be out there now with Eddie, Turk, all of that shit, man, bro. It's a hell of a time to be a, a, a free agent. Yeah, yeah. Shout out DJ J in the chat. He says, no tank talk until he fights someone of substance. Fact. I do believe Frank does have substance. Listen, I think this is an extremely scary fight for uh, uh, Javante Davis. I'm, and I'm going to continue to say that. I'm going to stand on that. This is somebody he's not used to fighting. This is a mm-hmm. slick fighter who's just as athletic um, and it's going to be able to give him different looks instead of just being flat footed standing there and coming forward so it could get very tricky and I'm going to go as far as to say don't be surprised if he don't, doesn't knock Frank out you know what I'm saying this fight could very well go 12 rounds uh, in that in that fight Frank he the, struck in, this fight. in that fight what, what Tank has on his side Frank ain't been under the big lights that's it. He, he ain't been under the big lights and then that nervousness, you know, gonna set in. And Tank gonna come from him early. Mark my words, Tank gonna jump on Frank early. Just set it in, set them nerves in. You get what I'm saying? Get that crowd going crazy. Frank ain't Frank ain't never been in that situation. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know if he'll knock Frank out. You know what I'm saying? Frank is a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, Long as we, if we get the Frank that I know he could be, that know how to move, side step, got some decent feet, then it'll be a good fight. If we get that Frank from last time where he act like his feet was stuck to the goddamn ground, then what, against Junior, whoever was he fought last, it was an ugly fight. Yeah, Hartunian, but Hartunian tough, bro. That's why I say if, I wasn't gonna be mad at the Hartunian Shakur fight because. He's got a he he kind of like uh what's your boy uh what's your boy name uh T.O. Ford man had a hard time with Sandor Sandor Martin uh-huh. he, uh, like Sandor Sandor. Martin yeah them niggas can fight man Jermaine Ortiz San, Jermaine Ortiz Sandor Martin and Hartunian all the same nigga to me and they tough mm-hmm. fight with anybody mm-hmm. yeah Sandor definitely that boy got feet and good box I like him this D two what's up D two what up D two What's up, you What's up, oh, okay. Hey, so no, nah, man. I think I think that tank fight gonna be a good fight. Frank gonna give it give it all, but I think tank wins it. But um, but, but, but why do we do this every time tank about the fight? What? Why is it? Why is this always hate when tank about the fight? Oh, tank! It ain't no hate. It ain't, it, it ain't no not hate. You, it's, not you. I'm just saying, like hmm. the conversation around tank. He never fought nobody. Because it's true. a test for him. Oh. It's the truth, and this ain't really no test. It's the thing is that's why I brought up the six or seven, the six or seven matches because it's very pivotal. Because like what Heavy Bag pointed out, he's not his own boss, so he could say like on Twitter he t- he told Shakur that he wanted them fights. Right? Mm. He can't say that. He has to fight. He fights whoever they put in front of him. You get what I'm saying? So we don't know if we'll ever see Tank fight somebody we want him to fight. You get what I'm saying? Because that's a long time. Six, seven fights? You know how long that man got him for? Mm. You know what I'm saying? If he fight him two times a year, that's the next three years. If he fought him once a year, that's six years. But I think Tank... That's the rest of his career. He about to be 30. I think Tank signed that long of a deal because he want to stay out of trouble. Because we already know how Tank is when he loose. Well, he got he was signed when he got when he got in trouble. Shit, that old, what fight was that? That last I fight think he more was go ahead. Three, he was like he told Devin Haney, "This is my I'm not out of my contract." And that was basically his last fight. I want to fight you next, and then he went on to that fight was Garcia, Hector Garcia, right? Yeah, that was Garcia, and then they came back talking about he tried. They tried to make it seem like it was a GTD uh, promotions when we was like, no, it ain't. It's, it, it's, it was both of them, but then kind of find out. It was really just PBC. PBC, yeah. 
Yeah, I think they locked him in, man. I think he fell for the, the, the you know, the, <laughs> he fell for the bait, man. Like I say, he one of them cats that can't, he can't move. Like Even though he's in that Canelo type position, mm-hmm. he is not capable of moving like that on his own. He needs, he needs the niggas straight up. I think that he going he's but Tank's still gonna make his money because he got that fan base. But Me the that, man, I definitely agree with uh with Slick, man. Um, it's because a lot of people feel like he ain't fought nobody, man. So th- that that's gonna come up every time Tank's got a fight coming up. But me, on the other hand, I, I, I wanted to give him credit for, you know, I want to give him credit for Frank Martin. You know what I mean? I I, I truly believe that's a scary fight for Tank. Then, mm-hmm. then, then, then when Frank face hit the mat, then it's going to be something different. Because the only two people y'all want to see Tank fight is Devin and Shakur. Well, that's the top right? of his class. Yeah, That's the top of his class right now. That's who he should be fighting. You always want to see him fight the best, bro. Yeah, you got your class, bro. I still you know want to see him fight on Machinko, shit. Yeah, it's like it's like people don't like. It's not about fighting everybody in your weight division. You got at least fight your class. You get what I'm saying? If you don't fight your class and you fighting everybody else but your class, it's like all right, you may make all the money, but then you know how are you remembered at the end of the day? That's what, that's the difference between the Devin Haney. Devin Haney believes in legacy where other fighters don't. Shakur believes in legacy where other fighters don't. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It means something to him. So you got that's where they say you got your prize fighters and you got your legacy fighters. You know what I'm saying? So you're saying so. that Tank is the only one ducking and Devin and Shakur uh wants to fight? I won't call I won't call I won't call Tank a duck because if you're not in control, I mean what can you do? You know what I'm saying? Like that that Ryan Garcia fight was a no brainer. Like that was a mega fight. Who's gonna pass that up? We've seen that time out of time. Yeah, we you they'll work together when it's gonna pan out that money, such as De- Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. That was a no brainer. You know what I'm saying? Much you heard, we don't know they'll cross the street. She put them two together. Nah, we ain't passing that up. So I mean, it's just certain I'm, fights though. You know I'm what I'm calling, saying? I'm calling them a duck because either you too stupid to understand the kind of power that you hold in the sport. And shout out my man uh Chapel and then Chapel or Chappelle. In the yeah, chat. that's your pill. He ain't no Canelo. No, nah, he ain't no Canelo, but he get to move like Canelo if he really wanted to. Tank can fight anybody that he wants to. And the fact that he hasn't fought these guys, he hasn't said, hey, I'll, hey, Floyd, this is who I'm fighting next. I don't want to hear shit about it. Put him in the ring with me. Yeah, you do. Well, I t- well, I'll tell you that. this. When you got the power to do so. I'll now, tell you this, you though. If you have the power to do so, then you, you fucking stupid. I tell you this though, the one thing that for is um person uh forcing somebody hand and say, Hey, I need you to work with top rank so I can fight Shakur, that's out the window now. So he at least have one that's gonna be a straight free agent to get the talk so if he get past Frank. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. He can, he'll be able to talk to Chappelle for real. Chappelle, I mean, it, it ain't by chance that that uh Shakur run his mouth on Twitter. He know you know what I'm saying, he know now, ain't no excuse. I'm gonna be free. I'm going to be free. Ain't no, you ain't got to worry about uh, 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 Bob. You ain't, y'all ain't got to worry about none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? You be hollering at me. You know, you be J Prince management. So the shit can happen now. So like I said, that's about the shit going on for two days straight. Huh? It could have been happy for Tank. Tank could have been moving how he wanted to move. And, and what makes it even well, more bad is the fact he told us several times it ain't about the belts. So you don't care about satisfying no mandatory. You're just basically fighting who you want to fight. And the fact that you don't want to and didn't make these fights with none of these guys, Lomachenko included. And I, don't think, I, I don't think he picked the fighter, though, bro. I don't. I don't think he picked no fighter, bro. I think he fight whoever they put in line. He's, de- he's deciding to go along with who they're selecting for him. But if Tank Davis right now said, hey, fuck you, Al. Fuck you, Floyd. I want to fight this guy next. What you think they're going to do? You're going to listen to the Golden Goose? Yeah, but you just said yourself, he don't know how to navigate. No, because if I have the greatest boxer in my corner and he's telling me we should move this way, we will come back on those fights later because they'll be worth more money. I'm going to follow my mentor and the greatest person ever. 
Yeah, now you you hear what you just said? That's him choosing to follow his mentor and whoever else. Right. I'm saying he's in the position now to where he could pull his dick out and say, "Hey, y'all swinging or not?" Right, 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 right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If Tank want to make a fight happen, he can make it happen now. Yeah, but but want. you saw when Earl tried that shit took that now, man. Is he being obedient? Yeah, he's being obedient. He, he he feels like he's doing a smart thing by listening to the people who's leading his career. And I ain't mad at that. But nigga, you've been at the stage to where you could fight who you want to fight if you wanted to, is what I'm saying. Because again, it's not about belts. You don't have any mandatories to, 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 to uh, accommodate. You get to fight who Tank wants to fight at the end of the day, but you're choosing to listen to your team. That's true. I get it's that. not so much like that really for Canelo right now. Canelo been picking who he he's yeah, I'm Canelo sure boss hog. He don't Canelo. lock down to nobody. But he yeah, he he picking who the fuck he wanna pick. Yeah. Once he got that golden boy contract, he's locking down to nobody. And you gonna pay what you weigh. You know what I'm saying? You saw you saw what he did. See, oh, y'all ain't got the money? Okay. Holla at me. He he ran when he wanna run. So, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, but Maybe maybe it's like you said, Tank don't don't think like that. Tank mind ain't 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 on the business side of it. You know what I'm saying? He just like who are y'all putting in? I'm gonna get the same money. Not to say that listening to your team is the wrong thing to do, because a lot of the times it's the right. And I agree with you. That's why you have a team so you can make smart decisions in the, in the sport of boxing. All I'm saying is, if you really want to fight somebody. You can. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, like like when Earl forced their hand, he was supposed to fight uh, Thurman, and he was like, "Hell no!" It took a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But they came around, you know what I mean? Because you know, he did. He 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 pretty much forced them to let him fight uh, Terrence. They didn't want him to fight Terrence. Yeah, they wanted him to fight Thurman. He was like, "Fuck that!" So I mean, yeah, you got. You got to put your foot down at times and shit. You know what I mean? But like I said, they protect the Nate interest too at the same time too. You suppose that if you tank, you suppose that at least got the Lomachenko fight under your belt, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what y'all talking about? I know he y'all still can get it. He still right can get it. But you know he ain't not going to get half the credit he, he would have got for Lomachenko two years ago. You know what I mean? Even a nah. year ago. Yeah. Right. But I, people still buy it. Niggas not even calling for him to fight. It's been that. It's they not. Don't nobody even calling for him to fight Lomachenko no more. Nah, nah. But that was also because Lomachenko kind of took himself, you know, out of sight, out of mind type deal with the whole Ukraine stuff going on. So you know. But at the same time, though, I think at this moment, I would be looking for. I'm just saying he can get it. Trust me, he can get it at this Cambosis. But at the end of the day, I think it's all his next move after this tune up. Depending on this Dale fight, I would I would be trying to go for Dale. Yeah, that's the biggest fight out there. That's Either the him fight. or Shakur. Two biggest yeah. fights he got. If Tank trying to retire like he said he want to retire, uh, I guess after these now six fights, maybe you know you, you they got to be on the list. Those are the big fights. Gotta be. I know a lot of y'all don't like shit I'm saying right now, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it a buck, man. I'm I'm on that nigga top. Listen, people know I'm a huge Tank Davis fan, man. I rock with Tank. I picked him to win every fight. I root for him. Not only do I pick him, I root for him to win these fights. But I'm I, I gotta call a spade a spade, bro. I gotta call a spade a spade. Yeah, it's just <laughs> at the point you want to see you want to see him fight somebody. That's all. Oh, that's like I said. That's give me one. Just give me one. Nigga. Yeah, exactly. Give like that'd one. be the whole thing. You want to see that class fight each other, but it's is I don't know. These cats, they they real emotional. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to lose, and then they act like they lose. They act like their career over with, and it's not over with, bro. It's like you oh, still should be able to fight. Like say say this is how boxing is to me now. If Tank beats Shakur. And then Dev would be like, I ain't fighting Shakur. You lost the tank. Like, what they got to do with you? Nothing. You understand? It ain't got nothing to do with you. You still should want to fight Shakur. You know what I'm saying? Vice versa. If Tank loses to Dev 
And then Shakur turned and said, no, I won't fight Tank now because you lost it. That don't make sense. If that's the it case. don't make sense. How it doesn't make sense? Because that's not boxing. Because that style, just because that style, that don't mean he can't whoop your ass. That's right. not true. That's not true. If I seen a guy get what? his face, if I seen a guy get his face beaten, I know for sure I can beat him. Oh my god! The, 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 this, I, I admire no, your confidence, no but come fight. on, bro. <laughs> there's no guarantee in that, bro. In boxing, bro, so, that's how so, that's how great fights was uh, uh back then. Like, oh. go look at them old Don King cars, bro. So, Man, that so, shit crazy as hell. How that shit used to go? So right are now. you saying? Are you saying that you've never saw a guy you did not like? That's street. Yeah, we talking D-Bow. boxing, bro. Okay. Street is one thing, and even then, that don't mean nothing. Just because you watch this dude get beat up, don't mean he can't beat you up. Not saying it would happen, but I admire the confidence. But that don't mean that it can't happen, right? Nah, if I beat somebody, then they turn around and they beat you. You definitely can't beat me. That's not true. And that's not true, okay. dog. Man, who is that? My orga. Go look up. Go look up that saga. My okay. Go look up Sugar Shane Mosley, Vernon Forrest, and my orga. All go I look at them. Go look at all of that. Go look at those and tell me that same thing you said is totally different, bro. It's going to defy everything you just said. But sometimes you have good nights. Sometimes you have bad nights, my brother. I promise you. I can tell you. I don't know Man. if you ever a spar or been in some wars. But sometimes you have good nights. Sometimes you have bad nights, brother. Man, I'm and trying I- to remember. How did that shit go, bro? They on your level if they a professional or uh you know an experienced amateur sometimes you had good nights sometimes you had bad nights my brothers especially if you're not prepared man how did that go was it vernon Forrest boss b sugar shane then sugar shane and then vernon Forrest fought my orga which is a cat that sugar shane had beat it was weird my, bro yeah, my like, beat. what yeah, my younger B Forrest. Yeah, beat Vernon. Yeah, that shit was wild, bro. Sugar Shane beat my orga. My orga beat mm-hmm. Vernon Forrest. That, mm-hmm. that shit was wild, bro. So what you saying is, is I'm telling you, bro, that's how it used to be back in the day. But they was all part of that class where everybody had to touch everybody, bro. Everybody, yeah. Everybody yeah. fought. It's no, again, it's no different from Hagler, Hearns, Sugar. Yay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, mm-hmm. You sound like the Matrix. They put them in the same class, huh? You would sound like the Matrix. What you say? No, I said, I said you can't put them. You, can, you can't put them in the same class as them just yet. Who? Oh no, no, we're not comparing them. We just saying how they fought each other. They all see each other, fought each other. That's how it go. Yeah, he was saying because yeah. he was saying. The two was saying because yeah. if, if, if he, them. hell no, nah, that's a different era, a different breed. Yeah, because that's like saying yeah. heavy beat me up. Heavy beat me because heavy beat me up. You right. should be able to beat me up. That's not true. That's not how that goes. Yeah. You get right. what I'm different saying? Styles. That's right. That's not, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if I beat heavy, then uh-huh. heavy turn around and beat you. I can definitely beat you. There's no coming back. Nah, that's not how it worked, D2. That's not true. That's not how it worked, bro. I'm telling you, that's how it worked, bro. I like the confidence though, bro, but that's not how that works, bro. I'm telling you, in boxing history, styles make fights, bro. Styles make fights. Shit. Styles make fights and shit. Nigga, it just depends on how prepared you is at night. Sometimes you have to yeah, right. Yeah. Right. I don't know if you ever spar, but you can spar the same motherfucker for a week. Sometimes he's gonna get the best of you, and sometimes you're gonna get the best of him. Right, it work, bro. It just yep. depends. Sometimes it just depends on how prepared you are that night. You know right. What I mean? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. I'm I'm selling the matrix split. No, nah, you good. good. Okay. No, nah, I just be wish that's what I said, man. I want all of them fight each other, bro. But I've yeah. been hearing that. Oh, you lost the, 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 the what I need to fight you for. You ain't got nothing to do with you. Bro, it's like man. you said, Slick. Remember we talked about cat scared to take that 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 that, that L, bro. Yeah, bro, that ain't man. Look, man, that just show you a warrior, bro. bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? That that just show you a warrior. It ain't like you going. Ain't you take a loss? Ain't nobody looking at you like you was garbage, man. If you now you keep fighting 
and your ass end up 15 and 15, yeah, maybe right. you need to quit. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> like, this yeah. ain't for you. <laughs> you know? Hey, hey, you know, if I was looking at I was looking at that Joe Frazier, uh, uh, George Foreman fight. Frazier fought Foreman twice and lost both times, though, but he, he still fought him twice. Right. He ran it back. Run you know that, what I'm talking about? Run that shit back. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's how that go, man. Shout out Cornelius in the chat. He said, when did Tank? What? Where he at? Oh, okay. oh, oh, I want to see Tank run it back with Pitbull, though. I would love to see that. You know what I'm saying? Tank move up. Fight Pitbull. He, said, for he the... said the money right. He said the money right here. Do it. Okay. That's when what's up. Tank, boy, when could Tank? When could have Tank for it, damn uh, He could have fucking been 35. That 35. Even Right now. He be a champ, bro. Yeah. Hey. Regular champ. So yeah. he been on his ass trying to enforce that mandatory. I just and, feel you know, like, pushing for that fight, for sure. Hey, it could have happened. Just, I just feel like once time fight Dan, uh, Devin and Shakur, and beat the both of them. People still gonna find something to complain about Tank about. It, but and it's not complaining. Tank. I don't think it's complaining, bro. I just think that after so long, this man, thirty years old, you see his career, and then you start to see him bring up like Hector Garcia. That fight shouldn't happen. He brought a smaller man up, right? That 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 shouldn't have happened. They they did like okay. If you run out of people for him to fight, then put him in the ring with the people he's be in. That's all right. he's saying. You know what I mean? You can't get a guy hit the Garcia, then hit him once, and then he's talking about, oh, I can't see. No damn well that man can see. He just figured, man, I got my payday. I'm a, I'm champing my division anyways. Yeah. I go back down. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't mm-hmm. want to see that. You know what I mean? So, like, that's that that be the disparity <laughs> in things, though. So, at some point, if it's just about the money, let it be about the money. And the number one thing, bro, these fighters ain't active like they was back in the day, bro. They got to get active. Yeah. I'm keeping it funky, man. Tank ain't never for the top guy, and it, he ain't like, fast, fast bro. Top guy. Let's just keep it a buck. Okay. For so long at 35 and hey. 30, it was Lomachenko, and then came Devin and Shakur, and yeah. he just didn't fall at none of them. Those are the three names that have dominated 30 and 35 over the last several years, and Tank ain't still ain't for none of them. Bottom yeah. line. Hey, Cornelius, the the link is in the uh, chat. Oh, or, or he on your one. side. He on your even side. Even this one, right? Oh, my fault, my fault. Even this one. Tank didn't even fight T.O., though, bro. I'm going to put it in the chat. Should come up on both. You know what I'm saying? Like, why, running with T.O., running with Loma. He ain't even fought them two, bro. Like, I don't even see why Casby, oh, Tank this, Tank that. He ain't he ain't did, really did nothing. Well, Tank, it ain't about that he ain't did nothing. You do see the skills. You do see that. You know what I'm saying? But, that don't take but, nothing but, away from his skill set. I mean, we just want to see the skill set that he's showing, he's displaying against right. a person in his class. That's all. You right. Know what I'm but, but he ain't, but if he, if he put his resume up against Devin's, it don't even compare, bro. No, not this moment, but I mean, at the, mo- it don't. At the money. No, it don't. It don't. Y'all it don't. It don't. What y'all oh, lost? Wow. What happened now? What what you say? Oh wow! He, he said Haney uh, resume better than um, Tanks. Oh wow! I agree with that. That's why I said. That's what I'm saying. No, Ray Charles, he wanted to see that. Uh, no, that's the truth. That's the truth. D two. Then, then I guess I'm Stevie Wonder. Then I guess I'm Stevie Wonder. D two, you just I, I don't. D two, I ain't mad at you, bro. You just you just tank. I ain't mad at you, bro. But you got to put your body. You got to put your. You know what I'm saying? Tank. Fan him to the side, bro. Tank ain't, you know what I mean? He got to get active, bro. That's all. And he's been, what's, what's the crazy part? He's been active. He just ain't been active against the top guys. That's all. Mm-hmm. And I get, listen, I'm, unlike a lot of people, I gave him a lot of credit for the Ryan Garcia fight, just like I'm giving Devin Haney a lot of credit for the Ryan Garcia fight. But outside of what? that. Right. You know, o- outside of Ryan, he ain't dead, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Other than people. What's up, Khalifa? What's that word, y'all boys? How y'all doing today, man? What's happening with you? This show, man. Right on. Appreciate you. All right. Look, I ain't trying to interrupt y'all. I apologize. Um, no, you good? No, that's what the link for, bro. That's what the link for, bro. So I was in the, I was in the, in the group chat, in, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the comment section, going back and forth with my man Cornelius, and a gentleman named Kool Aid or something like that. He said, uh, "Oh, you know, Dev, uh, Tank could have." Could have been for uh, could have been for uh, uh, Tank could have been for Devin, and I'm like, true. yeah, that's true. He definitely could have fought Devin. 
Hold on. Yeah. Let me let me mm -hmm. uh Bill Bill came on Bill came on uh Hold on who did but nine about no, we, no, 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 we, no, no, we don't drop the names over here, family. Listen, okay, fine. <laughs> I, okay, fine. He Bill came on the channel and we asked him at what point could uh uh Dev fault tank. Bill said for Tank to pay the step aside money. And so the question was, why would Tank pay the step step aside money? And Bill really couldn't truly give a true answer to that because he was under a three fight deal. So then Bill said, well, we could just drop the belts. So uh, the question was raised then, you will be sued if you intentionally drop the belt just to, just to fight Tank. Was that back so, then or now? You talking about then? Or you talking about now? Even, even, Hold on, even, let me finish I'm you, talking bro. about. I'm, I'm, talk, I'm talking about. I'm talking about then. Now, uh, Devin is at one forty. Well, tank, we'll tell tank to move up to one forty. Tank fought at one forty before. <laughs> okay, and 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 and, and fought at one thirty five. Yeah, but remember he hung around oh, at the no, end no, of his. No, remember no, he hung he around at 135. at 135. Right. No, listen, he listen. But remember, Haney. Remember, Devin hung around at the end of 135. Calling out Tank name. Remember? Then nobody Tank won't didn't want to fight him. At what point? That's what I'm saying. That's what that's what I'm trying Don't to remember. ask. At what point at 135 could Dev have fought Tank? He was under a three fight deal. And Dan was having a hard time. And Dan well, was they, trying. He was call, well, he was calling Tank before that three fight deal. Right, but Dan was having a hard time at yeah. one thirty five, just keeping the weight. That's why he yeah. moved us. Your phone, your phone breaking up. Man. I'm up. Yeah, go ahead. And bro. then you got to realize. And then hold you on. got to realize Tank was in jail too. Yeah, that was at the end though. But hold on, uh, Cornelius, go ahead. Your phone breaking up. Let me say this, and I'm gonna let y'all have. Bill also admitted that. Oh, they never, ever, 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 ever received an offer from Tank Davis. Right. Bottom line. Right. And why Tank didn't they send the offer? Devin, if Tank wanted to fight Devin, it was there. Kind of offer, bro. It was there, bro. I'm telling you, D2, it was there, bro. It was never there. It was, I, and I was kind of, both ways. It was never ways. there. Shout out to DJ. Yep. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. We got to salute this one. Salute that. Salute that. Uh, heavy. Shout out my guy DJJ in the chat with that. But hit him with that money drop, baby. Oh gosh, I'm not hit him with that. Money there drop. we go. Hey, money. Appreciate you, man. He say heavy a couple of cold beers for you listening to you. <laughs> always enjoy. You feel me? My Bread God. all day, man. Bread. Truly appreciate Shout out to DJ. You. Man, you got a free membership for me too, man, for dropping that big half a man, half a hundo on your boy, man. I truly yes, sir. Hit me, uh, DJJ. Um, uh, hit me on uh, in my DMs at Heavy Bad Boxing TV on Instagram to to claim your free membership, man. I got some wild behind the scenes stuff I want you to see. Also, make sure y'all subscribe on both sides, man. Subscribe to Heavy Bag. Subscribe to GMT Boxing. Or you can put in GMT Sports. Your boy hit a thousand today, so I I, I got two uh, on that. Yeah, you feel boy. Me? A thousand. Yeah, yeah, we hit a thousand on the channel today, goddamn me. Salute to y'all, man. A thousand, man. Congratulations, so bro. We'll be job, doing that. Good, good job, player. Good right job. on. We're gonna be doing that raffle on that shirt with all the signatures on it. Finally, so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, bro, to get the info on it. All right. And I heard they coming out with a new yeah. fight night, bro. With with Floyd that, on it. Yeah, they is. Yeah. Um, there go Khalif. If, if he really wanted to fight Dev, man. He would have. He would have went on to the hot of that Bye. boy. Said, man, send him something. Is that Polo? Bad. My bad. Boy, my I bad. thought that was Polo, bro. On my, on oh, me, you man. serious? <laughs> I thought it was the boss one. What's up? With <laughs> <laughs> Hey, whole time, whole time. I don't know who Polo is, but it got to be a good looking nigga, bro. Hey, man. Hey, bro, you look good on, bro. For real, That's you look good on Polo, man. man the boss one. <laughs> hey, nah, but uh, I love my my brother Polo, man. So, so, so this is what I was trying to tell. This is what I was trying to tell, dog. So I was trying to tell dog. I was like, so I'm trying to give him the whole breakdown mm. before 
So it start with Loma, it starts with Lomachenko and Teofimo Lopez. Mm-hmm. Lomachenko was the WBC super champion, Back. right? Before, before he was going to become quote unquote undisputed, he dropped the belt. This is why Teofimo Lopez has never been undisputed. Teofimo Lopez was never undisputed because yeah. Lomachenko, when he when when he beat Lomachenko, he was a franchise, franchise champion. champion. Yeah. That's why everybody mm-hmm. was calling Devin the email champion because right. Devin was the regular champion. Right, and right. Started he got that email. So so when so once he so he was elevated to the super champion, and guess who was elevated to the regular champion right after that. Tank Davis. Tank was never the mandatory. Never. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Elevated tank, to the regular on. WBC. Oh, I remember that. While <laughs> Tank was never elevated. Hold on. Hold on. He, hold on. he always while, had the belt. This is why I said in the chat. This is why I said in the chat. While technically he was not the mandatory, a regular champion supersedes, supersedes, a a a a mandatory that is true 110 yeah. supersedes that so with that being said if tank wanted to be the super champion he could have easily went to the wbc the board of 32 and members, challenged for it right and challenged right. for it and he right. would have jumped the, 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 right. the mandatory so while yes you're right he was not the mandatory but he damn sure could have fought damn <laughs> whenever he felt like it but you know what he wanted to fight he wanted to fight uh 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 I don't know name na- name name the bum outside of people. <laughs> I'm a Hold tank on. fan. There's a lot I'm of a East Coast fan. hate on this panel. Yeah, no, a a <laughs> Hold on. Look, Hold on. on. How can he be uh, how, how can he be a, a hater when he said he a oh, tank fan? Hear him out I'm though. Tank. I'm not a hater. I'm a tank. Hold on. We got too many tanks. Just... Hold on. Is this court first of all, is this Cornelius? Nah, this I'm Cornelius. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, so oh, yeah. you're Cornelia. Okay, nice to meet you, Vidal. My, my guy, Cornelia's Burnett, man. Shout out, so, my guy. So, yeah, this true so, is Cornelia. That's what I was trying to tell you. That's what I was trying to tell you, That's what I was trying to tell you. That's what I was trying to tell you, Cornelius. Like, he was never the mandatory. That's true. But he had multiple opportunities before that three fight deal. Before that, before Devin got that three fight deal, he was the WBC champion for at least a year. That three Man, fight deal came way. That three That's fight deal came talk. way. That's why I'm quiet. He was the quietest champion I ever. I never even heard of. Well, you know well when about? Devin, that's because when Devin, when Devin got the super belt, he he stopped carrying the belt around. Like you don't yeah. see him with okay. the belt. Okay. Yeah, cool. okay, okay, I remember. Okay, I remember. Wait, okay, I remember. Wait, okay. You're moving the goalpost. Wait a minute. You're moving the goalpost. So now it's it's either a it's about Devin being a quiet champion or b it's a or we're talking about. No, he said Tank was a quiet champion. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. I my said bad, that. I said. I said when Devin got when Devin became undisputed, that's when Tank stopped carrying the belt around. When, he stopped when, representing it. Right. When I agree, De- Devin fought right when Devin got the belt. His next fight was Cambosis. That's how he became undisputed. Cambosis called Tank out. Cambosis didn't want to fight nobody <laughs> but Tank. And told hey, well, him, let me know when you're done. I got you. Let me know when you're done. He I wanted got to fight Tia Fimo and Tank. <laughs> I got him after this. Say that thing. Again. Say, say yeah, because at that, that, that time, though, they was giving Devin a run around. Didn't know nobody want to fight Devin. No, Devin had to fight. take they the hard to freeze him out. Yeah, yeah, they tried to freeze him out. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, because Watch he was this. a bum. Watch this. Watch okay, this. Okay. Watch okay. Ah. This. Those three belts. You want to finish it, Cornelius? Oh, go ahead, Cornelius. My bad. Yeah, let me. Yeah, let me. He. Cambosis wanted to fight Tank. Tank said, I'm cool on those belts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and so that's mm-hmm, how Devin, mm-hmm. that's how Devin was right. able to get in line and get it. Tank mm-hmm. and then Leonard Elderby said it way back then. Say these guys want too much money to fight Tank and they won't bring in and they won't bring in the um uh, the pay-per-views to do it. So then Tank went and fought because Tank got the belt when he beat. When he beat Cambosis, I mean not Cambosis, but um, God darn it, um, uh, shoot, Gam Gam Gamboa Gamboa Gamboa. Yeah, that, I remember Gamboa. That's when he got the belt. He was never elevated. But can I ask you a question though? But I so, say so this, Tank, fight, 
Carnell. The tank fight. The tank yeah, fight, Lenoris. The tank fight, uh, no, no, no. I'm, no. bro. The tank ain't really. Come on, man. Like you gotta be. You know what I'm saying? Like the tank ain't really did nothing. And you can't go by that okay. money shit because so if you could fight Hector Garcia, for, if you go fight Hector Garcia on pay per view, bro, you could have fought them. So, so well, was, I'm about to make, what, listen, what, what, Leonard, to what, Leonard, what Leonard Elder B said when he fought when you when you said Hector Garcia, Hector Garcia brought his own crowd, which was the Mexicans, and then he didn't want anything to fight him. Hector Garcia, Hector Garcia got paid peanuts. And brought his own. And brought his own. Uh, he made like five million. Way after like the fact, bro. No, he the, the young man brought up Hector Garcia. That's why I brought up Hector Garcia. Yeah. And that's what. Yeah. And, and so Tank never. And then, like, like I said, not to mention Tank went to jail. Yeah, that was the end. Yeah. So, so Carnelius, you're saying that's on Tank, though. Yeah, that was the latest. I'm not saying it's not on Tank because it is on Tank. Yeah, right. Went right. to jail. Yo, there yo, was yo. no point in time. There was no point in time at one thirty-five. Tank had the chance to fight Devin. Not so, one time. Y'all get so, me? Hey, hey, we hear you. Come on, no, no, no. Come <laughs> on <man. laughs> So look, can I bring it back full circle? Can I bring Go it back ahead, full play. circle? So, I heard you say a lot of different things. The Hector Garcia fight and all of that—that's way after the fact. You have to bring it back a couple years. Uh, you got to bring it back a couple years prior to that. Because, again, remember, what the topic at hand is if Devin, I'm sorry, is if Tank could have fought Devin. Your position is that he couldn't have or he wouldn't have. And here's why. Here's why I know that is that isn't true. Those belts that you're talking about changed hands three times. Cambosos had it. And before Cambosos, Tio had it. And before Tio had it, uh, Lomachenko had it. Right. Lomachenko drops the WBC belt. Because at one point, Cambosos, I mean, I'm sorry, Lomachenko had two belts. Lomachenko had two belts. And mm -hmm. and Tio and Tio had one belt. Or, or I'm, I'm sorry. They uh, they both had two belts. I'm sorry. They both had two, two belts. Yeah. But we know it could have been, it could have been unif it could have been undisputed. But he dropped one of them and became the franchise champion. Right, the franchise. Yeah, Lomachenko. So when that happened, Lomachenko so, got elevated the franchise and messed the whole undisputed up. He, right. he messed the whole thing up. He messed the whole thing up. So we on the same page so far. This is way prior to any type of three fight deal. This is way prior to a Cambosos. Way prior to a to a, a, any of that. Right. Way before any undisputed talk was even talked about. Tank could have. S tried to sanction the WBC to be the WBC super champion via a fight with Devin. Right. This the is not about any of that. Yeah. But he never. That's why I said it was in the beginning. It. it was in the beginning. And that, I think that didn't happen for real because of the zone. And you know, now Eddie the other and, excuse, and the other excuses, the other excuse is this. Oh, well, these guys were asking for too much money. You want to know how I know that that wouldn't have been true for Devin? Because he took $2 million to fight an Australian motherfucker, bro. And Bill, you don't think Bill you would have that Bill, with Bill Haney said just because no. a nigga willing to work for slavery salary does not mean tank has to. No, he didn't, not, he didn't say no, no, tank. He I'm didn't say tank. Devin, Devin oh, yeah, would have took Devin would have took less regardless. I said, and I'll say it again, just because Devin wanted to work for slavery prices don't mean tank has to. Tank would have got, so got the lion shirt, D2. Yeah, tank would have got the lion shirt. Tank would have got his bread. No tank fuck Hector Garcia. What? Yeah, the dude, yeah, the See, dude, keep, you the keep dude bringing up Hector Garcia, and then when I comment on Hector Garcia, I'm, then it's irrelevant. No, 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 I'm it ain't. No, it ain't. No, I'm, no, I brought ain't. up Hector Garcia to talk about the idea of, of money, not the timeline. There's a difference. I'm talking about as far as getting money, Tank is going to get his bread no matter what. Regard Tank could fight my fucking shadow, and he would make money. But Devin would have taken less bread no matter what. Because he did it with, he did it, he showed you he did it. He did it with a no name. Nobody knew who Cambosos was, bro. If, unless you are a die, die, die hard Australian boxing fan. I had no clue who Cambosos was. I've seen mm -hmm. his name. Devin, but, Devin under, under the zone. He Do you think Devin would have took less money with, 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 with Tank? 
Hell yeah. No, yeah. yeah. absolutely no. he would yeah. have. Listen, no, no. Would have but, then why would he take it with, why would he take it with, it's, with, no. with it's oh, the same man. thing for me. The reason he would have took like, more with Tank because Tank, Tank is the star and he Thank wants you. the hype. So That's how that I don't believe he took less money this fight. He took less money this fight. Why would he not? What do you mean? Why it doesn't make sense? So let me get this straight. He All wouldn't take he oh, Cornelius. He would take less it, money with Cambosos, but he wouldn't take less money with Tank. Is that what you're he saying? He didn't take less money. He did not take less money with Cambosa. I don't know <laughs> what. Yes, he did. No, he did not take less money. No, he did not. The first fight he got paid, he got paid less than the flip flop. He, that he was, was, that was the split the first fight. And then he got then he got hemmed up with the deal. That was the worst part of it. Was the deal. The uh him having to go to Australia twice. Yeah, it's yeah. public knowledge that he's he made less than what he had been making that's, versus yeah, right. that's true. Because he was making that's, two point he, he, he was making two point five with his own. A fight. A fight. I think he was making. I think he was making. I think he was, was making a little bit more than. I think he was making a little yeah, bit more than that. But no, it was, it was two point five. It was. was it, it was two okay, point. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was two point five, they and he took two million guaranteed. for Cambosis. But he even 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 money. then, but even then though, right now, and he took le- he took less than Ryan right now. But no, what, no, 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 no. It's a sixty forty. He didn't take less than Ryan for uh, for Devin. I mean, the split. No, it's not. It's forty five fifty five. Right. What was you not? Yeah, wait, it's wait, 45 you, 55. Oh, okay. I heard he, wrong. Damn, that's crazy. Okay. Okay, wow. you're, you're right. 45 55. But when you're talking about guarantee money, that's what the zone in them was paying them. Guarantee right. money. You're moving the Yeah, but, hey, the, but the we're saying, what we're saying is, though. The goal but what we're saying is, though, fighting, if Tank would have offered fighting, him 5 million, he would have took the 5 million. When, when you're fighting on guarantee, no matter what, if you're if you're getting guaranteed money, let's just say two million, you're going okay. to get that whether whether your pay per views fly right. or not. So yeah. then, okay, so then when you're talking about forty five fifty five against Ryan, you're talking about pay per view sales. So nine times out of ten, it's going to be way more than two million. He still in the end, he still matter. took less. He okay. still no, took less so look, than Ryan. It's like and, this, bro. Cornelius. He took less than Ryan. So what I'm trying to say is that if Tank would have said, look, little dude, I'm going to give you three million, he'd have took it. How he do you know? Took it. How do you know? He the did dude it took it with Cam How do you absolutely oh God, sure know that? He's a no. legacy fighter, bro. You, he, 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 it's not about the money. Point, but we play it's a difference, bro. <laughs> Speculation at some point. But we playing some answers. Listen, if Tank wanted to fight, Devin Haney, he would have sent them some kind of offer, man. I don't know about what you're talking about, about the WBC and Tank being elevated elevated in the WBC. The w- Tank, the Tank was WBC. the regular champion. No. I think he got, no, it's WBA. WBA. It's a WBA. Uh-huh. You got it mixed yeah. up. Yeah. That means, he, he beat so Gamble. That means that Devin, Devin, was, the, w, w, Devin was the WBA. The w, he, he was regardless, they had the same here. belt. They had the same belt. One was super, one was regular. Well, at the end of the day, Tank had time to send an offer, and and, and that boy had, had been calling him out for hell. And, and Haney had time to send an offer. It, uh, he I left. He left the zone. I he left the zone to try to get the how damn fight. Devin fuck. send I the think, offer, and he's not the A side. You don't have to be the A side to send a contract, and I think that's where people get it misconstrued at because well, there's no it. law. Hold on, it's no written law to say, hey, because you're the A side, you got to send a contract. That is not true. Okay, okay, case in that point to what he's saying. Hold on, case in point what he said. Eddie did say that they sent him $10 million and was going to give him the upside on pay-per-views. And he turned it down. Now it's on Tank, Twitter. He turned that Tank shit down. Al. He said no. Tank said call Al. Al. He did turn it down. He said Tank said call Al. Yeah, he call turned Al. it down. Call at Al. He but turned he it down. Saying, he, but that he just is not in the turn, same, that, that's just But he like, said it that's in the just, same breath. I'm the ball. That's just like. In the same breath. That's just like. That's just like. That's just like. That's just like if I'm not. That's just like if I'm not here, and, and, and somebody knock on my door and say cut my grass, and my wife say that nigga holler at my husband. Did did she turn the, the grass cut get down? No, she didn't. She just said holler at my husband. Well, I don't, I don't know, but I know Eddie said he turned it down. I know Eddie said they turned it down. Tank said holler at Al. Tank said holler at Al. That's what he said. He said call Al. Nobody called Al. But at the end, but that's now at the end of the day. That boy left the zone trying to pursue that fight, and he wasn't trying to fight that boy. All I'm saying is look at the And it's not to say that he better or nothing. It's just to say that he they didn't want it. 
And I disagree. And I disagree. All these cats tank for it. Tank sent the offer to. All these cats tank for it. Tanking them sent the offer to. True. That is true. All okay. these cats tank them for it. Tank sent the offer to. True. Okay. Bottom what does line. Mean? What does I mean? agree. That means I, if I, I, I fight I, you, so, you'll so, get an offer. So Devin that can send an offer? Continue to, should should Devin, Devin can send an offer? Devin can send an offer? Yeah, okay. sure. That's bottom line. That's bottom. That's bottom line. So why do we have this standard? For, why do we have this? Why do we have this standard for tank? But none of them didn't send an offer either. So, usually, but in boxing, usually the A side sends the offer. Though bro. you missed the whole point. No, he didn't miss the whole point. So okay, so we, basically, everybody tank has we, fought. Tank has sent the offer to right. That's who tank wants to fight. Bottom line. But usually it's the A side that sends the offer, bro. And in this situation, well, no doubt, Javante is the A side. They can't send an offer, but once Tank send the offer, that means that contractual language is exactly how they want it. You understand? So but that's why it's called negotiations, and you go back and forth. I there think was no negotiation because he said I didn't no. say it was. I did not. I did not say it was. Not one time did I say it was. I'm just saying negotiations. You go back and forth. Now, I think what I think people are just, I don't know, getting it, getting it caught up that that tank has to just because tank usually do. That don't mean he has to continue to do so. Now, now, now. And then when mm-hmm. you running around saying when you're running around saying, hey, I'm going to fight for 20 or I'm going to fight for this. It's like, hey, mm-hmm. why would I send you the God digging contract? And I know I'm not going to pay you that much because at the end of the day, people don't know that every time, every time. Uh, a lawyer write up a contract, it costs. So it's like if I know, if I know that you're going to tell me, like, like for me, I sell homes, I, I build homes and I sell homes for a living. Anytime I got digger, my realtor would ask me, my realtor, she has to write this 10 page offer up. And she would ask me, what are you willing to, how far are you willing to go down? What are you willing to do to this property even before she even writes the contract? Because it's time and money. So if you got somebody running around talking about, I'm going to fight for this, I'm going to, I'm not going to fight for that, and I'm on the end where I'm going to pay you, and I'm not going to pay you that much, I'm not going to send you the contract. It's a waste of people's time and money. And that would have never been a problem with Devin. That very thing you just said would have never been an issue Devin would have had because we have proof. He took an 80-20 spit. Split with a nobody. Come on, who is Cambosos? A nobody. A easy win a for the un- a easy a easy win for the undisputed. Oh man, never okay. Never okay. <laughs> a easy win for the. Oh undisputed. my god, bro! He, you, they, you they, it's with. not his fault. That it ain't his fault. He had to build, bro. No, no, I didn't say it was. I didn't say it was. I did not. I did not say it was. I did, but we. But you have. It seems like we all forget about matchmakers too. No. Now all of no, a sudden, matchmakers no. is not. Hey, listen. You look at a matchmaker. He may like. Hey, man. That's. A, I, I, hey, listen. I think you. You might have this one in the bag, champ. That's what you pay. That's what. I, for. Well, that's what I was saying about Tank. I said I don't think Tank picks his fights. I know. I Tank don't said think so. he didn't. Tank said he didn't. He could if he came out and said he didn't pick him. But I, I just hate this whole. If that's the case, uh, then why he even leave Floyd? Because he wasn't picking his fights when he was with Floyd, he and then really he got away from Floyd and still ain't picking he his fights. He, 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 he never left Floyd. He never left Floyd. He's never left Floyd, bro. No, yeah, he, we, we, yeah, yeah, we know what the real Floyd. is. It's he he never he signed a perpetuity, dog. If you with Al, you with Floyd. He even admitted he got six or seven, and he got six or seven fights left on his contract. So, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Got digging. You sound with Al. You sound with Floyd. Uh, but I, 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 I do agree with that. I, yeah. But you still got matchmakers, man. And people seem to ignore matchmakers. Well, I, I wanted to comment on team. because once you get to a certain status in, in the division, the true fans just want to see the best fight and the best. Fuck the matchmakers. We know who we want to see fight. We want to see the best fight, the best. That's all. And, that, and y'all know who the real place of boxing is? Turkey, Turkey Alashi. 
Swear, <laughs> hey, swear <laughs> on everything, bro. You took hey, the words right out of my mouth, bro. Swear to God. Turkey Alashik is the face of boxing. Even though, hey, boy, but listen, boy, all praise be to God with that man, boy. Because that boy, hey. I ain't mad at him. I, I, I but that boy Turkey Alashik know what he's doing, boy. I like how he throwing the arm around my boy Bud right now because they def- that's who they trying to freeze out for sure. And they Man. should. What? And they should. Why? Man. They've been doing that, Man, they've been let's let's not let's not act like let's not act like God digging certain promoters don't freeze fighters out. Now all of a sudden it's under the spotlight because the PBC is doing it to Crawford. God dig it, he they should. And if I was Crawford, I'd go over to Saudi Arabia and fight for that God digging 20 million. But at the same time, that nigga PBC should freeze him out. F but why? Let me ask you that, Cornelius. Why nigga, should he been getting him? froze out. He was getting froze out by top rank. Oh, man, bro. You got to do your homework. No, 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 hold on. Hold on. I got to oh, hear man. this out of my boy Burnett. Burnett, why, why oh. should they freeze him out? Because because it has been, Bob Arum has said it. It has it. Crawford is a thorn in the side to do business with. Uh, uh, Spence it's no knock to Crawford because Spence gave up. He broke his back to get that fight. But then once when, when, once when Spence did it, Crawford backhanded him. That nigga told him, I'm not coming up. We're not doing it at 154. We're doing it at 147. He had Crawford act like he just, didn't, he just didn't get looked out for. So because you act like you didn't get lo- lo- uh, looked out for and you hard to do business with, I think we ain't gonna do business with you. You gonna you gonna beat Fun Door. Everybody knows he gonna smash Fun Door. He's gonna fa- he gonna smash Tim Zoo, and then he gonna take the belts and got to take off running with him. So PBC doing it like they always do, and everybody else we gonna keep it in house. PBC ain't just it. make that in house rule up. They been in house. I, I, I just said that and, and Bob Arum and everybody else has too. No, they ain't. Bob like loan more. Yeah. Bob yeah. loan more fight house than yeah. Al do. Al what? loan you out where you ain't worth no more, like a Charles Martin or or or, or uh, uh, Ortiz or Ruiz. He do that when you ain't worth shit no more. But it's always been in house with Al first. Always, it's, a, it's supposed yeah. to be in house first. Why shouldn't it be? How was Bud? You know what I'm saying? Negotiate with after the fight, like he Bob, waited, because he, he. I just said it. He said he, he wasn't going it. back there. Because remember, because Crawford kept match, saying, bro. Crawford kept saying it was no rematch clause. That's what he kept saying in the beginning. He, and, say that. he said it. I right. ain't never heard him say that. Yeah, he said it was. No one has he, ever heard that. I, <laughs> okay. All no right. one has okay. ever heard him say that. He said, I, I'm sorry. I've been patiently waiting. But hey, I, bro, I, I'm do, I'm, what, what I'm gonna do is Come I'm gonna find, on, man. I'm gonna find the link and I'm gonna send it to you because I just pulled it up for a cat the other day. And so they asked, um, they asked, they asked Bowman and Bowman because they kept saying Crawford said that. What exactly? He said something to the nature that it was. Yeah, he said it was no rematch clause. He said, man, it ain't one. And so then they kept saying that the, the 30 days expired. And so they asked Bowman. <laughs> okay. What? Let me, I'm, okay, bro. Okay, okay. I'm about to find Let me say it. Let me say it. I'll now, 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 now I'll check this out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. I know what he's talking about, but the first part, I don't know what he's talking about, but that 30-day shit, that was after the fight was over. He had a grace period Okay, my that you had to go through. That's what he was saying. My bad. It was I'll a grace that. period. It was a thirty days. It yeah, was a thirty then days. He had what he had to he and he did. But check this out though. This is the part that you're missing because <laughs> that last day Earl put in for the rematch. You can go. I you can go find it right now on Boxing Twenty Four News. Earl Dude. on the very last day on the 29th day he put in for the rematch, bro. He activated his. his he rematch. activated and that <laughs> held up that that held up Bud. Let me, Let me add something to that. Let me add something to that. Let me add something to that. Here's the part of the contract that this is the part that you said, oh, but Bud is bad for business. In the contract, it stated whoever is the winner can choose whether it's the way. You read the contract. You read the contract. You read the contract. You read the contract. Nigga, this is common knowledge. No, 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 no. no. They both I'm said it though. Yes this no, he, I know, I, I know what he finna say though. Nigga, 
No, did I didn't read, read the contract, but the two the niggas question. that read the contract did you said read, the same thing. Did you read the contract? No. Check this out. No. Check this out. You okay then? Hey, wait, 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 wait. But check, hold on. For real, for real, for real. Hey, chill, for real, chill. Check this out. Just to even this all out, bro. Both of them on out their own mouth. It's best to get out the horse's mouth. They both said that they, they could choose. The winner gets to choose the weight. Now, this is where it, it got sticky at. Over. They were supposed to write it. Uh, it was supposed to be in writing. They had to write what the weight was going to be. Now, this came out of Terrence Moffin interview that it has to be written. It had to be written in writing to where they wanted it to be. It had to be written that. Remember, hey, after the fight. Make- I can no right. I can no longer make it right. Right, and Crawford and Crawford and Earl really didn't do that. Remember, remember no, after, he did not. Yes, he did. He, he said. He said. Pro, he said. It was hard for me to make weight. Most likely would be at, at one fifty four. That's the same analogy as you say. If somebody come to your house talking about they want that grass cut, remember that. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. He didn't say yes. We're fighting at one fifty. He didn't say that. He said it was hard for me to make weight. Most likely it would be at 154. Remember, he never right changed his status. He never changed none of that stuff. He didn't even put in to be at 154. Trust me, Remember. I would know. I got I know somebody right now that could tell me when somebody go in. I knew when Earl had put in for 154. Okay, Remember so we are, I already knew Earl had no plans on fighting at 147, bro. So you don't think he was trying to force that, that shit. He Remember, was trying to force that shit fight, at 154. Earl literally said after the fight. I hope he puts the fight at 54. Yeah. You can, that's, Earl that, that going back down. Post fight interview. He said, "Well, you know, yes, he, I I hope the fight, I hope the rematch is at 154." Why but, would he say he hopes? But no, I, like it, I said, I, like, I'm not a biased so, channel, bro. Okay, hey, you're, hey, you're you're absolutely but, right. But, but Cornelius, yeah, Cornelius, yeah. this is speak to your testament, though. I'm not a biased channel. The, what makes Terrence difficult? At the end, is because he wants to be in the business. That's what real real promoters yes. the wrong way. Yes, I agree with that. Yes, you want to know because, like, if you got a business, like you say, you build houses and stuff, so you know you can be like right now. I need you build me a house, Cornelius, and you say, all right, what kind of house you trying to get? Four bedroom. You tell me three hundred thousand, right? And then I said, okay, we square it up. What I want, you like this? What you want? Woo woo wow wow. All right, now I want to guess what I want to know. Hey, how much are you spending on every knob going in the closet? <laughs> how yeah. much you spending on them copper pipes, peep? I don't want them. Yeah. Make that shit cheaper, bro. No, 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 no. That's what Crawford. That's what Crawford. Crawford wanted to know. Crawford wanted to know the venues. What venue he wanted to have a say in the venue? He wanted to have a say in the vendors. He wanted to have a say on everything. And Al, like hell, nah, bro. You right, you ain't seeing that because if you see that, now you finna see how much all the other fighters finna make. You finna see, no, I'm not finna do that. I'm not finna do that with you. Most importantly, you gonna see where I'm robbing you niggas at. Exactly, no. see, exactly. They got what's called the niggas. Ali Act. The Ali Act shows them that. Crawford no, it don't. To no, it don't. That. No, Crawford wanted to control it. Hold on, I got correct you. No. I got correct you, bro. The Ali Act does not do none of that. The Ali Act just merely states that a promoter cannot be your manager. That's all the Ali Act says. And how Al gets over on it, he's an advisor. Exactly. He's but, a, but Bob Aram said Crawford was hard to work with as well. Well, he, guess what? He, guess he, what? He, he Guess he, what? He, a promoter going to try to say their own ass. Regardless, because you go look at the early, early Bob. You can believe a whole ninety-six-year-old white man. He <laughs> right. He couldn't. He couldn't deliver. That's all that is. He don't want that to come out because he he, he couldn't. He couldn't deliver. I mean, that's not that, that's not a testament to Bob. Bob to me is still one of the best promoters out there. But at the end of the day, he could not. He couldn't give that man what he want. Okay, yeah, you are not gonna make as much money as putting the type of fighters that like. The fighters that Terrence was fighting, I don't take nothing away from the fighters, but the fighters that people wanted to Terrence to, to see Terrence fight, he couldn't deliver. Why? Because it was over there on PBC. PBC ran that division. Bob always had the lighter divisions. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And then on top of that, once Crawford started oh. wanting to see them books, that was a problem for Bob too. Yeah, and like you know man. Crazy. You know man. what's crazy? At one point in time, remember Pacquiao was Pacquiao. If I'm not mistaken, 
I believe Pacquiao was with, was with Bob at one point in time. Hold on, he like, was, he, he was. was, and that's what that's guess, where that was the beginning. Bob didn't was. want to put him in the, the ring beginning with that of the end. He was for Pacquiao. He Remember said that? it on TV. He, Bob on said TV. it on TV. He <laughs> said, "I don't want to see my friend get hurt," and that yes. was, and and he was calling out Pacquiao <laughs> before he called out Earl. Yes, they was on was. the same. They was on the same. They was on the yes, same thing. Yes, he was. And Bob said, "I don't want to see my friend get hurt." That's what he said. Well, you know your boxing, bro. It is what one bud the money. He got that money out of top rank. Oh hell that, yeah! He was the highest paid welterweight. The money because Bob came out publicly and said he ain't want to see his friend Pacquiao get hurt. Meaning he did. Yep. He yeah. interfered with that fight. Yep. He said, yeah, I did not I mean, want to see him get I hurt. Wouldn't, I wouldn't dispute that because, yes, he did say that. And Bob also said that he done lost more money with Crawford. He could have built a brand that's, new house from scratch. Hey, and that and that's, 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 that was that's not all his fault, though. As a promoter, you probably trying to get these fights for me. And if you can't if you can't produce them, that's not all Bud's fault, though, homie. Like, it's okay, you fighting you fighting B-list fighters. Yeah. No, no, shit. Look at it like this. Look at it like this. Like I say, it's the way that the monopoly is in boxing. That's why the, it's it's the wild wild west. Y'all gotta remember that it's not it's not um associated with nothing, right? So therefore, you could lock down belts in boxing. You could lock down fighters. So if all the key star talent is over there at PBC, goddamn me, that it's gonna him up, Bob. Bob was keeping the talent over there because people still was coming to see, but. My bad, y'all. My if wife Bud was with the PBC, man. He'd be out of the atmosphere, bro. Man, when he went over there, remember the cross the street thing, and then he actually goes over there and gets the belt and do everything they say, and they still didn't want to fight him. Over there. Even Man, they did he fight him. He's going to take off from there. Because you got to think. Look at all of the Bud Crawford got. How can you not promote that and him be a huge star? He's done too much. You have to promote so, yourself. Man, Tank promoted himself? This nigga ain't mm-hmm. Lena Ellaby promoted him and and um uh Pacquiao didn't promote himself. All we got was at the uh at the uh Bob talked <laughs> man, for him. To, man, you got to be marketable. Crawford life. ain't marketable. He telling his fans, F you, got to get off my man, nobody wanna hear that garbage. Come on, man. Pacquiao didn't speak English. Hey, hey, hey oh, niggas, I love you, bro. I love you. <laughs> hey man, you a fool, bro. Don't, don't nobody want to hear you. Don't nobody want to hear say <laughs> F you. God dig it. You, you I'm your fan. I'm Crawford, you my fake man. F you go on, sit down somewhere. Don't nobody want to hear that. I'm not gonna pay my money. Man, listen. No, I Crawford, agree with that point. I agree with that. I always said if he opened his mouth, you know what I'm saying, a lot earlier and and, and the way he was talking, at least at the Earl fight, he'll be a bigger star. I I, I you know, cause controversy sells, bro. All of them do it. And that's and I think and I and I and I think that's his I think that's his major problem, and I, and then he's and, and you're right, Tank. He was promoted with the fight card with with Mayweather, and some some people just got the pizzazz and some people don't. Big facts. It, that's just I mean, and Crawford ain't got it. No, you said you said it right, but you didn't say it right. That nigga had a machine, bro. <laughs> had the machine. <laughs> I, I had the machine, and if you can't promote a two-time undisputed champion who's on an eleven or twelve KO knockout streak, then you're just not doing your job as a promoter, bro. But Bobby. who has who has who has Bob promoted? Bob what? is all great. Bob is all your favorite fighters go through Bob. <laughs> he, 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 but what I'm saying is he promotes the Europeans. He don't promote oh, them okay, black bro. folks. Here we go, man. Uh, now watch this. Okay. Can, can I can I take this one, y'all? Let me take this one, y'all. Go ahead, bro. Black folks don't buy tickets, homie. Black be on black folks don't buy tickets, homie. You probably got fire stick in one of your TVs right now, nigga. Hey, I do. Okay, so 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 at the end of the day, so at the end of the day, so at the end of the day, when you say he got a European, he got a Scottish, he got a Josh Taylor, he got you know why he got them? He got an Australian. He's always gonna keep a Mexican. You know why? Because they got countries behind him. They fly over here. They buy tickets. He can go out and throw a show, and it's gonna instantly sell out. You see what I'm saying? He'll stand behind Tim Zoo if he had Tim Zoo. He'll stand behind uh, Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor should be gone. Guess what? He still got Josh Taylor. And that motherfucker already sold out in five fucking minutes. You see what I'm saying? He's going to keep them guys. If we bought tickets, bro. Oh, nigga. Sky be the limit, bro. 
And it's, it's it's deeper than that. It's not that we don't buy tickets. We just don't support one another. You know? hey. That's true. Uh, that, you, that's so, true. you know, it, that's to. true. I do believe we buy tickets. I've if you look at a tank fight, that's a bunch of black folk. That's you go right. to the that's that, that's that's tank black tank black represent the hoods of America. That's that's because you got that. hate you and got that. Fight. It's just the fact we don't, you know, what I mean, it's not a lot of support. U.S. based man. The hate mm-hmm. these fellow black men was giving Tank. Oh, stop it! We, we ain't giving we Tank no. We not no hate, no bro. Tank, bro. We, we, we just being objective. It's a sport. It's a sport, it's man. Jokes, we want to see all. Jokes, I want. I want to see my favorite fighters <laughs> fight each other. Like my no, favorite fighter no. is Bud. But I just said no. at the beginning of this telecast, if he don't drop them belts and let them uh, boots and them fight for them belts, I'm gonna be pissed. You gonna go fight? What's that boy name? Magnanov, whatever the fuck his yep, name is. Yeah, exactly. get that check, or you gonna go for legacy and fight fucking boots? One of the two. We need to know what the fuck you doing. You know what that's I'm saying? And that's my favorite fighter. I go in. I go in on my favorite fighter. You know what I'm saying? But because it is what it is. At the end of the day, you can't sit there and hold belts and and and, and leave everybody in limbo on what you are gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let me, let me ask right. this real quick. All of the people who want him to fight boots next say I. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm a Boots fan, so I, uh, yeah. Now you for you too. What about you, D two? Would you like that to be the next fight for Crawford? D two, you there? No, he at work maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. D two, D two down here. D two up top, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about my bad. Yeah, I heard you say I. For sure, for sure. So, now for me, and then, then, then let me ask y'all this: If it was you. Bud Crawford is two-time undisputed, right? Correct? Correct. Yep. For the most mm-hmm. part, his legacy is sewn up. He's done something no man in boxing's ever done before. You know what I'm saying? He He's the first to do it. Me, you got to say first to do it. Now. First to do it. He's got a Hall of Fame career. He's on 11-12 knockout KO. He's streak. already in the Hall of Fame. He's, yep. he's already been fighter of the year. He's been four-time lineal champion. You know how hard it is to be one-time fucking lineal champion? Right. So, for me, legacy sold up. Thirty six yes. about to be thirty seven. I'm asking y'all if this was y'all. You're thirty six about to be thirty seven in the sport of boxing. In the sport what? of boxing, you're a fucking dinosaur. You're on your way out the door. What Are I you going to take the big bag and fight Majumov and make more history, or is you going to go fight the young hot, hungry lion in boots? Yeah, I'm damn going to Saudi not fight Arabia boots. and get that money. I'm going I out a winner. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll get the money, I'll but. I gotta get the money, but I'm still gonna let everybody know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm going out exactly, of God. exactly. Yeah. I'm going over, and that's why I said earlier, I, I don't I, for him to go over there and get that money. Go get it. I, I'm not saying don't go, but it's the, it's the fans. It's 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 more the fans keep justifying that boots ain't ready. But then when they hear, because I was reading it, I was reading it in my comments. I was reading it over there on Facebook. But soon as he get that, they say he go go fight the dude over the ten and oh, oh, that's a good fight. No, it's not. It's not. No, I think, he, no, I think he, not. I think I think I think he gonna get the same uh, justification they gave when he fought Avenesian. Who the fuck so is look, he? Exactly, exactly. So look, we brought this up because I think so. The host, um, the host was basically going saying like, you know, it's not a biased channel. And, yeah, I know this ain't. And, and, My channel is never biased. Now I completely agree with you. I don't think you're biased at all. Um, I'll give you an example. De- I'll be honest with you. Devin Haney is my favorite fighter. Mm-hmm. Devin Haney is my favorite fighter. But here's my reservation for Devin Haney. Why would you do a 45-25 a split or 60-40 or whatever it is? Why would you do that split with Ryan Garcia? Why couldn't you do that same thing for Shakur? Hey. You I gotta you, that. okay now you okay. I gotta answer for that. Okay, I'm, I'm listening. Let me say this and then you can answer. Ryan is a way bigger draw. I'm God. There you go. He's a it, it's, it's more money. Yeah. It's it's more sure. money. But the Shakur fight, I think, will be tougher for him. It's a chess match. You got two Absolutely. pure boxers. Match make it. Yeah. Match make it. And that's, that's and I, and I'm a, I'm a Devin Ham fan too. Chappelle will tell you, man, I've been pumping Devin up when everybody used to hate Devin back then. We was 19. Oh, that yeah. dude ain't shit. And listen, I've been pumping him up, but that, I think that would be his match. He don't get tanked. That's definitely his match. Is is Shakur? He ain't gonna ever fight Shakur. That's just the chess match. 
he I think, I, fight I, he got a dog fight on his hand Saturday. I still think he got a dog fight. Yeah, on his hand. yeah. I think that's going to be in a fight. Don't be surprised if it be a draw. It don't be surprised if it gonna be a draw. You smoke. That'd be crazy. Hey, don't be surprised. I'm betting. I'm betting on the draw. If it's a draw, that's a bad look for Dev. Dev got to knock him out. One seventeen, one eleven. I'm betting on the draw. I'm gonna bet on the draw. One seventeen, one eleven. I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet Ryan get the knockout in the tenth round. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, oh, you gonna be a rich up. man, boy? You get that hold bet, up. boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but listen, I'm, I'm dead, I'm, show, I'm, man. Listen, I'm bro, I will DM you my cash app. <laughs> and on, on. Listen, I have three kids and a wife, and I'm a Christian. I put on my faith in Jesus Christ on everything I love I will pay you if that happens I will DM you my cash I will send you the bread God's honest truth I am not a liar I will send you the bread if you're willing to make if that what? If, what? if what somebody who who said Devin's going to get knocked out in the 10th round D2. oh D2 D2 crazy I will, I, listen and here's the deal here's the deal I will give you two to one odds they gave him more than that. Oh, if you no, know, no, 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 no. You ain't lying, bro. <laughs> they give him more than I that. I will though. bet him two to one. So if he wants to bet fifty, that ain't a good enough bet. I will give him a hundred. That's I, not I a good. I, I don't gamble, but I, I'm just a contrarian. I like to go against the grain. Oh, that's okay. just exactly, me. and that's <laughs> why I said the draw. <laughs> that's just me. Looking. But whoever is managing Ryan, make sure he get his coke that afternoon. <laughs> he still he don't say that, bro. <laughs> 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 That's all bro. That dude, say. damn, bro. Oh man. I hope, I hope it's a draw, though. I, I hope it's a draw. Get the panel starts on his on his fight. Let me start with you, D two man. Uh, who you got? What well, you say? You got you gonna take? You you got Ryan by knockout in the tenth. Cornelius, how you like that fight? Who you see? I'm looking at a draw. It's a great draw. You think they fight draw. to a draw? A split decision draw. 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 Yes. Okay. Split draw. I have it going. And what about you, my man? Um, I got Devin Haney 117, 111. Um, one uh 118, 110. Wash. Wash. Washing mm -hmm. machine. Blender. Yeah. I'm gonna give y'all my prediction, man. Fuck it. I'm gonna say uh I think Devin wins this fight, but I think he get hurt. I think he get hurt twice, but somehow, some way, you know what I mean? He out. He, he's gonna get on the back foot. He's not gonna stand in the center of the ring like he claimed he gonna do. I think he might. He might get hurt maybe uh, once, at least once, maybe twice. Uh, but I think he controls the fight from the, the half point on the half point way on. I, I don't know. Mm. I don't, it's gonna be a I split decision. I'm gonna say I, split I, decision. I, I don't know because the way how Ryan been on the internet and after the loss from Tank. I think Ryan coming out the first round and applying pressure immediately. Oh. Not going to matter. Uh, immediately. Some, I just know somebody, somehow, some way, I expect somebody get dropped. This. Yeah. I expect somebody to get dropped. But I believe it. I, I believe it's going to be a split decision. All I'm gonna and it's, Devin, it's gonna be Devin though. Devin gonna take it. Okay. Now let me ask y'all okay. this. Let me let me ask y'all this. Did y'all did did anyone see? Uh, I didn't see all of it. I just listened to clips. Uh, Devin on the million uh, million yeah, dollar game. Yeah, yeah. 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 I ain't watch and that when shit, he, and when he spoke about my man Boots because Boots my favorite fighter mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. his jab. Uh, who thinks <laughs> Devin can beat Boots? Not me. Not I mean, me at this moment, no. But the smoke the was put out there. But that smoke was put out there for a reason, though. So just that's a bad you know. fight. That's a, Devin's my guy, but that is a horrible. That's yeah, a, I don't not, think he need that. Work. I appreciate he that. Don't need that work. I appreciate that. I appreciate because yeah. it's a lot of it's a, it's a lot of Devin fans that they Big, that, they don't that need that right now over here. But I'm an objective fan before I'm a Devin fan. I'm I appreciate that, man. I pre because I I just yeah. Boo, I I don't think I don't think Devin to beat um uh, Gary Russell, uh, Antoine. Who? Nah. 
Who? I don't think he'll be that. Oh, Gary Antoine? He would be, yes. he would, I think he would be Gary. I think he would beat him right now. Antoine got to get active. Who? If, uh, active Gary Antoine? No. I Who y'all talking about? Devin. Gary Antoine Gary. Russell. Devin? That'd be, that'd Devin, be a I rough think, fight for him, boy. I think Devin wins that fight. I don't think Ooh. Gary Antoine could be. I don't think Gary Antoine could be Tank. That's a tough fight. That, but mean, that's Tank, a good fight. That's a good fight, though, for Tank. Yeah, man. That's a good fight for Tank, but I think Tank come out. I think Tank come out on top of that. People I underestimate. Why y'all saying I, that? Nah, I ain't been active. Right. right. Hey, but I think that's a real fight for both of them, though. Antoine, I like I it. Lumber. against both of them. Man, I got Dick Gary. Put him in the car. Fight, man. That that boy. CMT no CMT knockouts. I like yes, it. Sir. Yes, Where's sir. Where Gary Antoine at anyway? Is he at thirty? PBC man, you know they dragging their feet with everybody over. No, nah, I'm saying what what weight class is he at again? One forty. Yeah, one forty. Is he at one forty? Yeah, yeah. one forty. Yeah, forty. And, and you know your boy Dad was screaming his name for a hot second. Second, yeah. For a hot second. Shout out Aaron Davis in the chat. What up? What up? What up? Letitia. What up? What up? He was. He was. He was. He was. He was hollering, big bruh and little bruh. And, Somebody and, playing and, YouTube in the background. Something, something going on in the background. We're going Somebody to playing YouTube, bro. I hear. I don't know. It ain't me. Yeah, it ain't I hear. Me. It. I hear. It. Be, but y'all, it's cool. It's cool. It ain't like it's bothering. Me. But, but I just uh, want to make sure I wasn't tripping. I made sure I closed my YouTube app, so I don't. I, yeah, I don't that's useless. That. I think because it sound too. It sound like it's perfect in my earset. Hold on, I'm finna. I'm finna mute. You tell me. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit, your ass. Uh, yeah, hey, what's yeah. Your, what's all that. I like all that. That game. is me. How the fuck that shit on? Why that shit on? No. Go ahead, y'all. Talk my bad, my bad. My but yeah, I, I think Gary Yeton, man. I think he, I, I think he gets them boys, man. At one forty, man. Uh, I, I There's think so many fights at one forty, bro. God, I mean that's a stat. That one fifty four and one forty is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause I definitely want to see Gary, an uh, active Gary Antoine versus somebody like a pit bull, or even a Subria Matias. I want to see them two lock it up. Man, this is a lot of fights to make at forty. Yeah, I know it's a little bit. I know this a little bit further in the future. I know it's a little bit further in the future. I mean, not that far away. And I don't know if y'all talked about it earlier before I got on, but Alta better be a versus Bevo. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I think I think Alta gonna get him. I don't. You got you got better BF. I got I, better I, B. I, I'm be honest with you. I I I, I, don't. I, 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 I it's a, if you I wouldn't bet on that fight, but if but gun to my head, if somebody broke inside my house and had a machete and, and a rocket launcher, it was like, you better choose a fighter. I'd be like, ah, people. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's probably what would happen. But if you but if you said, bro, you gotta bet on it, I'd be like, man, I'll pass, man. That's yeah, I know about myself with this better, this better BF. I know that's about 50, myself. 50 the way that's 50 50 the same way the uh the Earl and uh before they fought obviously the Earl and uh and uh Spence. and Spence Earl, fought, uh, yeah, Devin, Earl, Devin. Earl Spence, yes. yeah. this that's Devin. this 50 50 the same way that shit was 50 50. Uh-huh. Man, them blows from better BF is damaging, bro. They damaging. If if he that can dude, somehow some way that dude hit like a avoid war. this kid for 12 rounds, because listen. B has got eleven KOs, man. Better BF ain't going nowhere. You know, if he wins, he's gonna outbox him. He's gonna beat him on the cards. But if Better BF can get in some kind of groove and, and, and start landing, and, and you know, find some type of uh, uh, um, rhythm, find an advantage he can take. A, he can take, you know, find a spot he can take advantage of. He's gonna break the boy down. Has better a be chance. gonna better be is gonna box that box shot, and he's not going to knock him out. He gonna box him twelve straight round. You mean Bevol? Yeah, Bevol. I mean Bevol. Oh, oh, I'm a, okay. Yeah, I, I, he's gonna have to be perfect. Mm-hmm. But even if he's not perfect, Bevol has a chin. He's not like no. He's not no scrub. Like he. Has oh a hell no, Bevol cold, bro. I've been found Bevol for years, boy. Bevol yeah. cold. Bevol on the phone. Yeah. Big giant motherfuckers, the little motherfuckers. He, yeah, he got, like he got a he got a chin. So he ain't finna just he ain't finna just come in there and just. Oh, he ain't finna just touch him and then like, oh, that's just it. That All better be like, that's power. Power. Right. That better be as power different. It's different. <laughs> better be as that dude got different. donkey kicks for punches. 
Yeah, mm. it's different. He hurting you with jabs, my nigga. It's Fact. different. Fact. Uh, I mean, that's a great fight, man. June first, I can't wait for that one for sure. I can't. That, 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 that that's a fight. Does hey, but look, I got to Hey, real quick, y'all. I, I, real quick, I gotta go, man. I, I really do appreciate. I What's appreciate your name, y'all bro? letting me on your. Even catch his name. What's your name? <laughs> my name. My name, my name. My name. My name is Khalifa. Khalifa. All right, okay, Khalifa. Khalifa. Yes, indeed. Yes, right indeed. on, man. Hey, I for you, leave. y'all having me, man. It was a man. This is awesome, man. Thank y'all. Yes, so much it was. For yes, sir. Yes, hey, sir. I'm on it. We are, we always up, man. Make sure you subscribe to Heavy Bag. Subscribe to over here at uh, GMT Sports, bro. Especially now to hit cool? this thousand. Yes, uh, GMT Sports. If it don't pop up, type GMT Boxing. It'll pop straight so, up. So but I got this. Get, I got this raffle. I'm gonna do. All right, GMT, GMT Boxing, Boxing, and what's the other one? Heavy I bag. One of I think you yeah. y'all follow heavy bag. I follow heavy bag. Okay. Yeah, I follow. So make heavy sure you come bag. over and subscribe. Yep. I'm finna do. I'm about to get all get it together and do this raffle for this okay. shirt. I got a shirt basically signed by everybody we didn't talk talked about. Yeah. Man, from Terrence Crawford to Sean Porter, everybody's on yeah. this shirt, and I will be doing a raffle for this shirt, bro. Okay, GMT, right. GMT boxing. Yeah, GMT boxing. yeah, got it. Yep. GMT, I got you. I got you. As soon as All I right. get that, hang up. Yep, GMT boxing. Right on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I definitely, you know, like what y'all got going on, man. Y'all be easy. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, appreciate right. you. Yeah. Salute to my guy Cornelius too. Long time yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so yeah, glad. Man, no you problem, man. Too, man. Appreciate you having me on. Man. Yeah, like I said, that that link. That's what the link. You see that link. That's what it's there for. Click. Yeah, yeah. I ain't got a problem. I ain't, I ain't got a problem. I ain't got a problem getting on. Like I said, it's the people's channel, man. That's why we do it, man. We want and everybody's see, opinion. You know what I mean? And see, with me, I, I don't know, like, everything about boxing. I think I because I I own my own business, and I used to I used to fight dogs for a living. Oh, okay. I tie, I tie it all into that. I got you. Because you got the uh, uh, in dog fighting, you got the same type of politics in that. You got you got belt, you got trophies, you got weight classes. If you miss, if you if you if you agree to, if you sign the contract to say you're gonna bring your animal in at 35, and 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 come fight night, you at 36, you got to pay the forfeit. So I mean, mm. it's li- I mean, it's literally it's literally like boxing. So I. I take what I learned from from dog fight and apply it to boxing because gotcha. it is. I mean, it go it go hand in hand. You got the you got the politics that where, you know, you gotta you gotta you got a good animal, and you feel like you can beat you know you can beat anybody at forty two, but God dig it, the the person you wanna you wanna go into at forty two, he might be saying, God dig it, you gotta fight my animal for five grand. You might not mm. have that. You might not right. have that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I appreciate the dog fighting the enlightenment. Right. <laughs> you, you you may not you may not have five grand. I I remember yeah, when I first fifteen hundred. <laughs> you know, but I, I went to the federal penitentiary behind that junk, so I had to believe it, man. Love hey. it. Stay away from them goddamn dogs, Cornelia. But man. And listen, man, I had to, I had I did five and a half years of the federal penitentiary. Uh, yeah. Damn. Yep, I had to got to get away from it, Jack. Mike Vick. I've heard something they hit him with that Mike crazy, Vick. <laughs> and what was crazy? And what was crazy is, I'm I'm from Ohio, and uh, we had a uh, yeah. we call it a fight card too. A, no, we call it a uh, we call it a dog show. So we had a six in Cincinnati. We had a they had a six a six card a, a six card show, and uh, come to find out. It was Detroit going into um, Detroit going into uh, Virginia, and when I got to the federal penitentiary in Virginia, I found out it was it was Michael Vick dog down there. Damn. Yeah, it was, wow. it, was Michael, it was it was Michael Vick dog, but he wasn't there. You know, he he wasn't there, but it, it was his it was his animal though. His dog, yeah. Yeah. No, y'all, let, y'all let the dog. Y'all like the y'all let the dogs fight to the death, right? No, uh, and that's a misconception. No. Uh, what happens is, like I said, it's just like boxing. You got you go to your corners, but it's not tying by rounds. It's called it's it's, it's, it's it go by at a hold, or if if your dog is is not active for a certain amount of time, or if your dog turn, which uh, can give the conception of 
he don't want to fight no more. Right, no more so yeah. when you when you when you uh, get out of hold or a turn, you tell the ref because it's you, your opponent, both animals, and a referee in the box. Damn, it's refs. Yeah, it's 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 referees. So yeah, you yeah, it's referees. You tell you tell the you tell the ref. I got a hold. Like if me if me a heavy bag is going and heavy and heavy bag his dog turn. I say turn ref and the ref acknowledge the turn and he says um, the next break, which means when you when your dog ain't ain't biting, y'all mm -hmm. go to your corner. Mm -hmm. So you go to your corner and you each party go to their corner and they face face the opposite direction. You're actually facing the corner and you got corner men. So your corner man, y'all have a bucket of water. And you washing your dog down, and so you, um, because heavy bag dog turn after the ref count to fifteen seconds, you face your animal, and when you face your animal, heavy bag has to release his dog first, and I'm standing in the corner holding my animal. Heavy bag's dog got ten seconds to not only come over to me, but to mouth my dog as well. And so what happens if Heavy Bag's dog is tiptoeing, I'm not going to release my animal because I don't believe he's going to come. But if he's coming full force, I'm going to let my dog go because I don't want my dog trapped in the corner. Mm. And let's just say, and let's just say uh, Heavy Bag dog don't scratch because it's called a scratch. Let's just say Heavy Bag dog does not scratch. He does not come over. Well, I have to scratch. Heavy Bag has to get his dog and I have to let my dog go. And if mm. my animal come over there and mouth heavy bags dog, then I win. Okay. And mm. then if it but if heavy bag dog come over and mouth my dog, they keep going, they keep going. Now it's my turn to scratch. And if oh, I scratch I'm a, I was typing to them slick. I was I was typing to them in the chat. Oh okay. but if <laughs> but if I uh but That's if my animal room. if my animal scratch, then we keep going until um until a, a dog don't scratch or until uh, one of us decides that it's too much on our animal we pick up. Gotcha. You know, uh, but a dog, uh, a dog, uh, I think I seen, I, I was fighting dogs for about four years before I got caught, three or four years, something to that nature. I only seen, at all that time, I seen one dog that actually knew he was in there to kill another dog. And that's because he grabbed him by his face and then he started choking him to death. And that's when he knew he was going to kill him. Now, I'd have seen dogs die, but intentionally kill only seen one time. Oh, wow. Only seen, and, and I, and I, and I, and I, good, man. I, I got to stop watching YouTube because all the shit I seen, man, the dogs was dying. I'm yeah. not saying they don't. I'm not saying they don't. So, do. Let me ask you. So, do is it a is there a way to train a dog to go in there and fight? And do you or and if so, do you think there's people training their dogs to kill to kill the other dog? Oh hell yeah! You the, the answer to that, I'm going to say you can't. No, I'm gonna say no to both. You can't train your dog to fight. The dog is either going to fight or no. But what you can do, you got what's called, in, 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 in boxing, you got what's called sparring, and that's what you do with your dog. But in, do in, in, in the dog game, it's called rolling your dog. So you will put him, you will put him in there, uh, and you will let him roll for five, ten minutes. Uh, uh, the first time, he might not like it. And then you will, you will get to talking to him, effing him up, and then he'll start to... Sometimes they 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 gradually start to fight. Uh, sometimes they won't. Some sometimes they just mm -hmm. won't at all. And then what happens? Uh, you do it five minutes the first time, and then uh, 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 the second time you put him in there with a different animal uh, uh, to show him a different style. The, so by the time the third fourth roll, he's ready for a match. Mm. And you got dogs. You got dogs that does different things you got dogs that like to go to the back end you got dogs that like to go to the chest you got dogs that like to go upside your ear and just tuck their legs and just ride you let you push them around uh you got you got uh what else you have uh, 
but that's it. That that's it. I think you got your chest dog, you got your head dog, your face dog. You got your dog that like to go in your mouth because your dog might be biting so hard, so he'll just go in your mouth and try to take your teeth out. <laughs> All right. But That's I mean, you, you can dish them though. You can, of course, though, man. I appreciate that, Cornelius, because a lot of the shit you just said, I had no idea went on in the. Dog I thought world. they just let them go to the death. I swear. No, no, I didn't no, it, no. It was just, you know, mm-mm, complicated. Mm-mm. It's got some rules and regulations. It and got shit. rules like boxing. I'm, man, when I tell you, it's just like boxing. When you talk about the weigh in, I remember one time I go down to Cincinnati. And I do this match, and we, uh, we and, and uh, you use milk to, um, cause, cause people would use this numbing medicine and put it on a dog. So when your dog go to bite them, they quit biting because their mouth is mud. Yeah, no. So I remember one time we go to, and you use milk. You 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 use milk to wash your dog. So I get down here to do this match, and the guy says, "Where's the milk at?" And the guy that I'm going into says, I don't need no milk. I just lick the dog. And he licked my dog. And what? then he asked, he asked because he's going to see if his lip going. He's going to see if his tongue going numb. Oh, and wow. He, and he asked me, did I want to lick his? I said, no, nah, I trust you, baby. You are. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I said, no. Nah. I said, no, nah, I'm all right, man. You got that one, man. You 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 got it, man. But, yeah, you, you use – I mean, it, it's literally – it's literally just like boxing. You, we yeah. use um, dig- the digital scales, the scales, huh? Now I was talking to my girl Letitia. I would understand your Scottish accent. Please go up there, scroll up, and hit that link, and come on up here. You always welcome on on the show. To oh talk yeah, shit. <laughs> but, uh, but but yeah, I mean it's just like like I said. You do you you use a digital scale, and if you say. We so if we contract at thirty five, that digital scale better not say thirty five point one. It yeah, better man. not because you overweight. Thirty five is thirty five. Yeah, I can definitely see all of the similarities, man. Mm-hmm. Damn. 30, 35 is thirty five. Crash course. Yeah, uh, right. I gotta get out of here, man. I'm way. I'm over thirty minutes late. My wife calling me, y'all. Uh, oh snap! Uh, yeah, man. Did I, you I, say I, I what's go, the link again? G uh G M T boxing. GMT boxing. Yep, it's gonna pop up. It's gonna say GMT sports, but for some reason, it, it used to be GMT boxing. Now changed it to GMT sure, sports. So you gotta put the ad on it. If you put yeah, the ad, ad. It's straight to him. Oh, if you hey, put ad on GMT sports, yeah. it'll go straight to me. The yeah. ad symbol, you know, the ad symbol. Yes. At GMT sports. At GMT sports. Okay, I'm about to do that now. I appreciate you. Much love. I'm out. All right. Appreciate yeah, you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Um, All right. Out of here too, man. Shout out to my guy GMT Sports Slick 50. Congratulations again, bro, on a thousand subscribers. Yeah, man. We made it. We here now. If you win the world, that's a you know, that's a, a major, major accomplishment, man. And I'm happy mm-hmm. to be here. thanks for having me, man. Thanks for these collaborations as well. Y'all already know who it is, man. Big Teal heavy bag. I gotta go see about the way. I think she wants some of that Superman love, bro. <laughs> it's <laughs> stupid, bro. Man, All right, bro. I gotta give it to her. I'm out of here. Uh, deuces. All right, D two man. All right, all right. Have a good night. You too. Hey, shout out to everybody that's still around. Like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Because like I said, we're going to do this raffle again. I got to reiterate. This isn't a giveaway like I did the boxing cards. This will be a raffle. I'm going to get the details together. Make sure you come hang out for the uh, watch party this Saturday, 7 p.m. Central Time. Definitely going to have that going on, man. Hey, thank y'all for pushing us to a 1,000, man. Like I said, man, I appreciate the love, man. All right? I'm up out of here. Deuces.